I do not know what I'm doing. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna have to to go slow and work our way with it and then figure it out, chat. Okay, but yeah, we're sponsored by EVE Online today, guys. We're gonna open up the game now and we're gonna get it going. And my character's name is... Um, is Dark Rune. Uh, yeah, it's it's Dark Rune. Okay, that's uh, that that's my character, guys. Um, yeah, it's it's really funny, chat. It's really it's really funny. It's, yeah, it's, it's the Dark Rune, guys. Yeah, it's <laughs> whatever. Let's play. Let's press play. Let's send it, boys. God damn it, man. All right, I am the Dark Rune, guys. That's who I am, okay? At least in this video game. Okay, we're gonna have to get our Excel sheets ready here. Oh, there's some, like, daily login campaigns as well. I don't remember where we put our, our cam in this game here, but I guess we'll figure it out. Um, day 8. Okay, 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 okay. He's finally accepted it. Look at this guy, though, chat. Does it, is it not, like, a stunning representation of me? Holy... It's basically a one-to-one. -one. Yeah. If you replace this with some sunglasses, that's pretty much it. No skill in training. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I got 47, I think, million isk, which is the uh, the money in this game. I don't know if that's a lot. But that's how much I have. You had it there last time, the cam? Oh, just where I am right now? Okay. Oh, let's connect, guys. You have to queue up skill training. Okay. Chat. I am a very new player. I do not know what I'm doing. We have played it a little bit before, but it was very little. I know there was something that was really fun to do called Abyssal Dungeons. So I definitely want to mess around a little bit with that. But we'll Oh my god, there's so many key bindings. Oh, I'm gonna... Okay, there's so many key bindings in this game. Okay. We're gonna have to work our way with it, boys, little by little, okay? Full screen, fixed window. Uh, do that there. NVIDIA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat was in bottom right. I mean, I just have to chat about my cam, kind of, like always now, I, I suppose, right? Return to the game, boys, let's go. No, not as wipe dungeon, abyssal dungeon. Do we need to pin something? Uh, can pin this right here. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Am I actually in space? What is this? Okay. Pin this. It has been a while since we played this game. Air career program. I think... Is this something I can, I can claim? Okay, I guess there's something we can claim in here. Enforcer. Okay, I think I went the Enforcer route, if I remember correctly. You are too nice of a person to play Eve. What's that supposed to mean? Dude, Eve is a fantastic game, chat, okay? Eve is a fantastic game. We're just gonna figure out how to play it, okay? So I know there's a wallet, personal assets, inventory, mail, opportunities, the agency, the air program. <sighs> okay, full on, chat. If you want to backseat me, do it, okay? Like today's stream, backseat me as hard as you want, chat, okay? Because we're gonna figure out how to do this, man. Assemble your Eve goons and go destroy people's fun. Yeah, if there's actually people we know we can team up with, we could definitely go do some big blaster PvP, I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay, I remember we can look at our spaceship I somehow, right? You Bengal! Thank you, Bengal, and for gifting five community subs. Thank you for the five community gifted subs. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, board my covet. I have a complimentary covet? No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let, let's just undock and let's see what we do, boys. Thank you, Bengal, for the five. Yeah, covet? That's like a giga car, right? Dude, okay, I remember now, man. This game looks so insane. Oh, I remember now. This is what I really liked a lot last time I played this. 
It's just insane how beautiful it is, man. I don't remember how I removed the screen so I can see the stuff, right? But yeah. Um, okay, so this is places we can go to. There's also some targets that we can scan for and stuff like that, which we can work our way with as well, right? This is Excel in space. Yeah, I don't remember how to move as well. Look at my ship. Okay, we move by clicking over there, I guess. What is this? Six consoles, 20 command nodes, 15 macros. Oh my god, we played this a while back, bro, but it's it's been a hot minute. I was really, really... Fi I was figuring it out last time when we played it. What, is that people fighting over there? Or oh, they're going into Giga Space. Dark Orbit. Keep at pace. General. So these are all the places we can go to. I think we should actually go back. <laughs> okay, we should actually go back and we should find, find a mission or something to do, right? Because I think that's that's what we did last time. And my thrusters are here. So if I place these thrusters, then they go fast, right? Will my laptop from 2023 with integrated CPU, GPU run this smoothly? Definitely. Definitely. Okay, missions. Where do we find the missions? This is the stock market, I think. Or like, this is the auction house. Eve help. Fitting. Um, so this is my ship, yeah. And we got the thrusters, we got the probe launcher, and we got all our gear here. I remember I set this up last time. Press all the buttons and something will happen. Oh my gosh. Is my brain too small for this game, guys? You currently don't have guns fitted. Wait, how do I fit guns then? Scan acquisition, cargo scanner, micro drive. Wait, where's my guns at? Turrets and launchers. Yeah, these bad boys, right? That This is the bad boys we want. But I don't think these are the ones that we have. Drag from inventory hangar to high slot. These are all scanners. You need to study... Can, can you call the streamer from last time to carry you again? Oh my god, I don't know if he's ready, man. Maybe, okay, uh, maybe he can. I'm not sure if he's busy or not, but we'll see, Chan, okay? Because I am at an absolute loss for words right now. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Get the dev, dev guy on this again. Yeah, I'll, I'll message him and then we'll see if he's uh, if he's available. How many people under 40 play this game, I wonder? This is a very, very cool game, Chad, okay? We just need to figure out how the heck to play it. And it's been a while, okay? Eve help. It's not... <laughs> oh my god. We got the lock-in complaints. So... Press item hangar. Hold on a second. Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks to the last time I played this. I'm getting flashbacks, man. I, I was so overwhelmed the first time I opened this game. Like, you think World of Warcraft is overwhelming? Try EVE Online. Okay. You should try Star Citizen if you like that. We're not gonna play that right now, though. Where, where's my, uh, in your inventory? Oh, so item hangar. But I don't have anything in here, right? We have a lot of Plex. Which is like giga money of hell. What if we went to the market and then we bought some stuff? Right? I think that might be it. Ships, equipment, compressors, drone upgrades, shield, propulsion, turrets, and launchers. Missile launchers. Oh my gosh. I cannot afford that. They have a YouTube video for this and a whole channel with tutorials.
Check your ship hangar real quick. Your ship hangar? Okay. I have my hair on. I have this bad boy and then I have my current one as well, right? Which is this one. The, the, capacita the capacitator. Simulate fit. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, Aegis? Good to see you, man. Oh, he actually res responded. Okay, he responded. I said, hello, are you busy? And I said, always, but what's up? And I ask him if he has a few minutes to hop into Discord and like just show show us the ropes real fast, right? Just real fast, show us the ropes. Porsche giveaway. We don't have a Porsche, guys. Okay, we don't have that. Opportunities. Oh. Okay, we got some missions here we can look at as well. Okay, okay. Raid deserters how to I don't think we can go anywhere before we have guns. So we need guns. Anyone in chat that has an idea of how I can get some guns? Guns are needed, chat. Okay? Like very, very heavily. I need to make this a little bit bigger so we can see. No, like, EVE Online guns. Cruise launchers, missile launchers. Maybe, we can we just get some simple stuff? I think that'd be good. What happened to your last guns? Did you do some mining or fighting? I think we went fighting last time we played, yeah. We went to some of those abyssal dungeons. And we kind of owned it up. Right, we, we, we were doing really well with that. I wish space was real. Mufford, it is real. Sp space is... Sp space exists. Is that about doing a 7 out? Uh, I think maybe next week or something like that, perhaps, PGM, yeah. Um, oh my god. Maybe it would have been better if I just did the gosh darn... Uh, thing again here. Okay, I'm waiting for Rushlog to respond, chat, and then we'll figure it out. I am overwhelming. I can't even speak. I'm actually so overwhelmed. I'm sitting here looking at my ship. I want to go somewhere, but I don't know where my guns are. So I don't have anything in my inventory. I have a Hobgoblin that we can buy and train. Uh, okay, Rushlog... The savior is here, chat. He's here. I'm calling him. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, Lou. Oh my gosh. I You are a, a very blessed person to have a call in the call right now. How are yeah, you I doing? I saw you in the Discord side. I'm like, he's playing WoW. What's he? What's he? I didn't read the full thing. I just saw a WoW player. And I'm like, oh, he's fine. <laughs> What could the problem be? <laughs> yeah, so we're playing some EVE Online, right? Do you remember when we played last? I do. I forgot everything. Of course, yes. It's like I, a language, right? Like, yeah. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm sitting here and I'm looking at my ship and I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> <laughs> So what are, what are we attempting to do? Like I see you in a heron. Mm -hmm. That's typically a uh, an exploration vessel. Okay. Uh, so you would usually I, if, is this the same one you used last time? Uh, this was the same one I used last time, I believe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is and did again. you want to? Okay, I see your stream title now. You're doing abyssals and or, dunge or dungeons and or exploring. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. with with exploring, you're gonna have to leave the station. Okay. So that's like uh, undock, of course. Yep. Yep. Yep, yeah, yep. we're going to undock. That's one of the early bosses. A lot of EVE players can't beat that boss right there, the undock button. Oh. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? No, this is... that's ask. I don't know if anyone in your Twitch chat knows about EVE, but that's one of the <laughs> hardest bosses. They just okay. sit in station all day, and they spin their ships around in circles, and... Dude, I, this game is probably one of the most overwhelming games ever. It is so much information. 
It is, absolutely. So, down in the, in the center of your, your screen there, yep. uh, there are two columns of buttons. I want you to click the second from the bottom on the left column. That's called your probe scanner, typically. Oh, I remember you. T we, we talked about that orbit scanner. Oh, oh you were close. You were on it. So, second, so first, the first column, column yep. on the left. Yeah. Second button from the bottom. It says scanners. Oh, so scanners. Yeah, yeah. And I go probe scanner. And you're going to... Yep, you're gonna bring the probe scanner up. Oh, okay. And you wanna bring up the yep, probe scanner? There we go, there we go. Now we need to get mm. your probes into space. Um, we can make this screen smaller. It's good for Twitch chat to see this much, but yeah, um, we can we can we can make this window and, and just scale it oh, down. Oh, so it's bit. like a, like a like we're actually like in a window. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, you got your probes already out. Cool. So we want to keep the probes out of the ship by hitting the launch button. Yeah, doing that. I found that button. I remember cool. this. And then you can change yep. the, the direction yep, of where yep, you're yep, scanning, yep. right? There you got it. Yep, yep. Now, in the upper right-hand corner, something says filtered. I think uh, there are just three asteroid belts in this system, from what I'm glancing at. I don't think there's any signatures here. Yeah, you got everything. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, yeah, pull. Um, we're going to warp you somewhere. Just take a gate. Take a gate somewhere and leave this system. I think you're in a, in a starter system, and therefore there won't be anything... Okay, so I don't remember how to take a gate. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have to walk me like all the way back here. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So, um, moving this window to the left, or just so I can see the overview on the right there. Uh, I think okay. the next system over is gonna be called. Uh, was I warp two? Go. Is that what you want me to do? Uh, no, I want you to go to. Um, there are two systems. Uh, oh boy, you change your window. So, uh, go back to the thing you were on before. Um, give me one second. Uh, how do I open that again? Is that over here? Oh, I found it. I found it. Little thing. Mm -hmm. mm. So what do I do with this? So there was a previous screen where you changed things. You hit the warp two. When you hit where you hit the warp two, go back to the tab you were on before, which I think was just the general tab. Yeah, that was the general tab over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Go there for me, please. Cool. Okay. Now you choose. You can go into that system called EDMA or AMEI. Uh, they have longer names, but usually the first three or four letters is all we concern e ourselves with when we're... EDMA. Yep, there you go. Uh-huh. You were, yep, you just covered over the A-M-E-N-I. Okay. A-M-E-I-N. Oh, EDMA. That, 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 yeah, that one, that one, that bad boy. Uh -huh. So we want to warp to that one, right? Yeah, sure. Warp to it and jump the gate. Uh, okay. When you select it that way, you can uh, jump or you can warp to or whatever you want to do. But you want to jump the gate, so go ahead and jump through that gate. Uh, okay. Now your probes are out in space, and you can you can either recall them by hitting the button to the upper right of that analyze button on the window you just minimized, or uh, when you jump the the gates, the probes will auto recall. And oh, so that's, okay. That's also, yeah. okay. But you cannot auto recall that. You cannot recall them manually when you're on on the same spot as they are. Like, okay, so it, they only auto recall if you actually warp somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only if you jump. If you jump the gate, will auto recall. And you're yeah, gonna okay. jump the gate. So go and hop that gate for us. Uh, hop the gate. Okay, where, where did I do that? Uh, jump. So you can right-click that gate again when you warp it. That works too. Oh, I, I, it just looked like a jump button up there. Mm -hmm. yep, so yep. we jump it. And then we go to yep, the yep. next place, I guess. Yep, yep. I really like the, the travel. It looks sick, actually. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the visual. They've done great with the visuals over the years of keeping yeah, them updated. It's really amazing. Uh, bring your probe scanner back up. Okay, okay. So now it's scanning for like, hey, so, so what so does, here, this does is it scans for all the nearby like entities, right? Correct. So here we have everything green except one. There's one cosmic signature and that's what we want to see for your, um, for your probes. Uh -huh. uh, you can't launch your probes until you wiggle your ship a little bit. You, know, you can't, like you just jump through so you have like invulnerability timer or invisibility timer. Uh, okay. Pick a station in local and just warp to the station. So I see one station in local. EDMA, uh, uh, it's the second item from the bottom. Of oh, this one down of... here. So how do I see if it's a station? It's a square. There ah, you go. Ah, right so there. Right okay, click so right-click and warp, warp to. Warp to that, okay. Mm -hmm. And after you do that, open your probe scanner again and kick your probes out. You can do that mid-warp. No. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. So that's me moving. Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to launch your probes. I just feel like I'm doing my taxes. Yeah, launching them. Yeah. Uh, current window, middle of the right side. There you go. Now, there's one red dot in the system, that cosmic sig. So yeah. I want you to double click that red uh, 
red's uh, icon just to center uh -huh. the camera here. And I want you to launch your probes. You haven't Wait, launched your probes yet. Okay. You have to the launch button. There we go. Now, I want you to manually drag the window so you're looking top down in this window. Right now, look like, like we're like a three quarters oh. camera angle. I want you to want you to go top down for me. Okay, yeah, That's top sideways. down. sideways. They're top down. Okay, cool. Now drag. Well, before we drag your probes over, do you? There's a, something called the, the the 4AU rule, and it's basically that red sphere. You want to pay attention to a cluster of celestials that are nearby, which yep. from this perspective is on the left hand side. So I want you to drag your probes and put them in the middle between that red X and that celestial cluster to the left. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now so right, back right, to the left right. a little bit. To the left, there you go. Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Now double click out an open area here on the map, and we're gonna it'll 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 toggle oh. to a uh, sideways view. Uh huh. And then we're gonna bring those probes down just a little bit. Okay. Oh, so you wanna like make sure it's like aligned with that one. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. So that the thing that we're looking for could be anywhere in that sphere, but because I've played this game too much and I'm basically a dirty cheater, I know that from experience that the thing we're looking for is gonna be on this side. Okay. It's called the rule of 4AU, which is basically what we're looking for is going to gravitate toward the nearest celestial cluster. Uh, so I want you to hit the Analyze button. The Analyze button replaced your Launch button from before when we launched these probes. Yeah. And we're going to give that a moment. And their little okay. probes are going to do their probe work, and they're going to wait and wait and wait. And Okay. That chat, take thinking, notes. Thinking, this is going to be the test later. Result. And we're going to come off that 0%, and we'll have a better result. Okay. Oh, so it's up there, the signal, I guess. Is that it? Mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. scan signature. Yep, the signal strength, yep. Okay. okay, we have to expand your probes. Um, so where it says 4AU on the right-hand side, Yeah. I want you oh, to uh, so it drag it the over entire 8AU. Thing. There we go. Like that? Put it at 8AU and scan again for me. You okay. could probably bring your probes up just a little bit, oh. but... Uh, but, like, it's fine. You can you can do that next time if we don't get a good result. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because, like, the way I, from the perspective that I play from, I'm used to um, having higher stats. Okay, we got that. Okay. So, okay. point eight. Now you can see how it's changed a little bit. Now I want you to move your probes. Um, double click again so we're looking top down. Yeah. And then I want you to center your probes. Oh, like that. Again. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's changing the direction of where it is, I want. Mm hmm. Exactly. Your uh, probe result says that it was in this direction. So. From that top-down view, I also want you to move everything to the right and put that square centered on that sphere. Okay, okay, so we get like a full-on. Do you want to like take the AUI then as well? Uh, I would like to. Let's let's see what it looks like at 4AU. Um, I just want to make sure that we fully encompass the sphere. Uh -huh. My concern is we're going to do... Um, you know what's weird? We're getting yeah. some weird results here. Ooh. Do another one at 8AU for me, just to, to see how it behaves. Okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. That's the, I, I, it, it did look weird to me as well, I agree. Oh, while we're waiting for that scan to happen, could you put your mouse cursor over your probe launcher? Down at the bottom, you've got three rows of modules on your ship. I would uh, like to put the mouse cursor over the um, top module that has the number eight uh, in it. The um, top module? To the, right, to the right of all your all your hit points and energy information. Oh, like that that little thing with the, with the launcher? Yes. Just, just don't click anything. Just hover it. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. 57. That's that's our issue. Okay, cool. So you have a, a relatively low probe strength, which is normal when you're a newer player. Yeah. Um, there are some things we can do to change that later. It's not really important for the moment. But the important part is your current scan gave us what's called a, a, a singular dot. We're no longer dealing with a sphere. We're dealing with a single point in space. So what I want you to do is go top view again for me. Yeah, so doing that. Down. Uh -huh. And then I want you to center it again. And then double click so you're looking sideways. And then center and center and it again. Center it that way too. Mm -hmm. Okay, that I'm good at. And, I, and now I want you to go down to four AU. Oh, so now we're, we're we're so we're like strengthening the signal, right? Exactly. We're we're zeroing in on the the target itself. Okay. Okay. I, I get that. They have decent tutorial missions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's the move as well. Okay, so now we have a 5% signal. Yep. So now we're going to uh, rinse and repeat. We're going to go top down on the camera. Oh, so I just, just want to get closer and closer to where that thing uh -huh. is or what. Exactly. 
Okay. The way it's behaving so far, I'm I'm predicting it'll be a higher level sight. Uh, I could be wrong based on your 57 probe strength. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I have one so question. Four, you can go to 2AU, by the way. Go ahead. Oh, uh, what are we searching for, like, specifically here? Yeah. Uh, ideally, we're going to find either a relic site or a data site. Um, because your your ship is set up to handle a relic or data site. If it comes back as a combat site or a gas site or anything like that, we're we're just not set up for that uh, okay. type of a site. So. Okay. So is uh, this like a two. normal thing you would do when you're like out uh, playing? Yes. So this right now you're what's called uh, as high sec, right? You're you're close to newbie systems, new player systems. Mm -hmm. So the things are usually um, lower risk, lower reward. Then when you get into places like wormhole space or null sec, um, the risk goes up, the reward goes up. Uh, if you approach it a certain way, if you double click the red dot on the list on the right hand side, it'll it'll center your camera for you, so you don't have to like. Oh, wonder. that okay. That's really smart. Okay, okay. I'm I'm just kind of like uh, you know circling in on this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Two, and then we should get a stronger than eleven percent on this one. Okay. Sixteen percent. Now, what is more frustrating, scanning these signatures or playing those get over games? Uh, I don't feel like this is frustrating. I feel like I'm just kind of like slowly dialing it in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know you're making progress on it with each each scan. Yeah, uh, yeah. Same thing. Go from two to one and just keep. Uh, we went to point five on that. That might make it angry, but. Okay, I'm gonna um, try to make it angry. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Worst case scenario is you get like a bad result and then it doesn't, you know. Okay, okay, play right. okay. okay. You can always you can always expand back out. You know what I mean, and, and then reapproach mm. it. Oh, that's a big signal. Okay. Okay, cool. So what we have found is called a wormhole. Um, where are we at? Point five so far. It might be a little tricky. So there are there are different levels of wormhole. Like class one, two, three, um, five. There might be class four, I would presume. Anyway, the higher the class, the wormhole, the harder it is going to be to to scan it down, and pin it down. Okay. Um, Oh, it's level three. Oh, good. When you put your mouse cursor over on the yellow side, it tells us what uh, level it was. So it may not be... Oh, we yeah. might be able to scan this down. There's no harm in trying, so... Sure. Um, zoom in, top down, side view, recenter. Uh, it's usually a good rule of thumb to collapse your probes first. So I'd go from like 0.5 to 0.25 first, then play with your camera. Oh, to, yeah, because uh, it changes it. a little bit, I see. Yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. And you're doing a great job of zooming in, because with that zooming, like, you'll zoom out, and it'll look like, oh, yeah, I'm centered. And then when you zoom in closer and closer and closer, you find out that you're not centered. And you, you wouldn't see that level of, of... Exactly. Yeah, you wouldn't see yeah. that unless you... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Okay, okay. So I'm going to analyze again. Correct. Uh, there's a guy in the chat asking if there's PvP in EVE Online. Is, is there PvP? Oh, oh. E yeah, EVE is mostly PvP. Um, <laughs> and it's not strictly, you'd think, like, I'll, I'll speak in WoW terms, since that's, that's going to be the common language here. Um, it isn't strictly in like battleground form. Like, there's there's literally nothing stopping me from showing up on Goo Goo Goo's grid right now or location uh, and just blowing up a ship. Um, the yeah. NPCs in the game don't protect you. They they'll avenge you in certain situations, but they don't protect you. I think, uh, if for example, for the last for oh, go ahead. I think if I remember correctly, you said that there was like safe zones where you can go, and then like certain areas of the space is like protected by people, right? Uh, like they're, where they're you started owned. off today, I think, was one of like a, like a newbie system. If if someone were to come shoot you and want, they designate a, a starter system, uh, CCP will end up banning that account, basically. Okay, um, okay, okay. So yeah, like spawn, like basically camping spawns, right? Like they, they, they don't allow that. But okay. once you leave, leave the spawn system, then it's it's it's, it's pretty full, yeah. Okay. Uh, now in high sec, the space police, the the NPCs will blow up the aggressor after the fact. Um, in low sec, it's only on gates and stations, and then in null sec, null means none, so there is no security, so it's 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 hands free and players enforce their own rules and stuff like that. So yeah. Now okay. you found this wormhole, which yeah. is fantastic. Uh, I would like you right above that analyze button on the right to the far right. There's a recall probes button. Okay. Um, let's push that to call your probes back in. Recover active probes. Okay. So, because now we know where it is. We scan for exactly. it. We know what it is. Now you're gonna right click it and warp to it like you would a gate. Ah, okay. So do we want to warp to within like 10 kilometers or just warp to? It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, warp to zero. You can warp to zero. Okay, okay, okay. So what happens in a wormhole? Like, what's the reason for us going here now? Yeah. So most systems are static, meaning uh, every day the same asteroid belts spawn in the same place and 
uh, the same mission agents are in the same locations and so on and so forth. Wormholes Ooh. are kind of like randomized dungeons that open and close in different known space locations. Meaning, uh, let's say tomorrow this wormhole isn't here anymore, this entrance isn't here anymore, but what we're about to jump into still exists. But its entrance will move to a different system. And so advanced players will kind of use these as like travel highways, right? They'll they'll jump into a wormhole from one location, exit out another end of it, and do some traveling. Okay. Um, and use it for, for shortcutting. And then some people will live inside the wormhole and start building structures and such because sites like this wormhole we just scanned down, sites like relic sites, data sites, combat sites, mining sites, and so on, will be inside this wormhole. So if you Wait. can, select the wormhole for me, and then you're going to jump inside of it. Okay, so I click approach, right? Oh, inter uh, oh, inter wormhole. Yeah, yeah, I guess inter wormhole. Yeah, 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 there you go. So you can build and structures as well, is what you're saying. So. Uh, correct. Yeah, yeah. Players can can move into a wormhole and live there if they want to. Uh, sh should I, uh, th this this looks uh, not good. What does it say? Like uh, warning, you, go, you die or something? Yeah, yeah like you, you're gonna die if you go through here. It might be really everything, bad. Everything, everything in Eve's gonna kill you, so it's fine. Okay, um, let's go. Once you go inside of it, I want you to press Control B, okay. and a little window will pop up to make a bookmark. And you want to do that. Every single time, that's like your first thing to do once you jump into a wormhole. So you remember where you were, right? Exactly. If you press L, um, okay. as in, let's say, loser, then it'll open up a little window that will keep track of your locations. Personal so locations. You always have, there you go. Oh. And then one of those will you'll open up. You'll you'll do something. I can't see right now because I'm behind an ad wall. But um, oh. sorry. No, you're good. I, I, um, I can share my screen if it's easier for you to follow along. No, 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 you're fine. This, I got like five seconds left and I'll be back on the stream. Okay, cool. Oh my god, this this looks crazy. Like, the visuals are um, really amazing. Whoa, whoa, bring that back up. Press L again for me, please. Sorry. L, okay. I, I just came back to the screen when I needed it up. You yeah, Elling, Elling. Okay, and then somewhere on this little window, there's gonna be a spot that says, oh, uh, in the right hand, upper right hand corner, just below the word jumps, there's like this square with a upward angle arrow pointing. Click that for me. Okay. And what that's going to do is create a new little pop-out window. Oh, where are we going? Targets? We're going all the place. There you go. Close up. Okay, cool. I'm waiting. I'm going to catch up on the stream. Uh, do you see that? Okay. You saw the word jumps, and then you close the window again. Yeah, I, it, it jumps. Yeah. I click on the jumps. Uh, just press... There you go. We're back to L. Now, right below the word jumps is a square with an arrow. Yeah. There you go. I want that. Open a window. Open a window. Yeah. And this is like a list of locations that we've saved in this wormhole. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we know where, like, where that is and stuff like that. There you go, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. So now you can close that first box. We don't need the first box anymore. Yeah. Uh, we'll bring the probe scanner back up. Uh, probe scanner, that's the... Uh, I remember where that is. That's obviously mm -hmm. right over uh, right in the scanners. <laughs> and then it's in the probe scanner. That's where it is. Yep, you got it. Okay, so now we see all the entities within the wormhole, right? Exactly. Now, the first thing I want you to do is probably warp to either uh, a, a sun or a moon or just something random. And while you're in warp to it, I want you to press control B again and make another bookmark mid flight. Okay. And um, you'll call that like perch or safe or whatever. Just gonna be like just a, a spot for you to sit at for a moment while you, because someone's on grid with you now. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, oh, they dropped uh, a bubble on you. What, what's that uh -oh. mean? Wait, what, uh -oh. Okay, and how do head. I leave? Okay, wait. Uh, back to the wormhole and just uh, crash back through. Back. Okay, back you to the jump, wormhole. Jump the wormhole again. Yep. Yep. I mean, he's he's probably gonna kill you long before then. But yeah. See. Now what? I don't know what kind of language is used on this stream, but uh, you have to remember Eve is full of hateful, and then chat can can fill in the blanks there. But uh, welcome to Eve. This is Eve. Everyone wants to kill you all the time. <laughs> now maybe Egghead is is great people. You know, maybe Egghead's like, you know. He's gonna open a combo with you and tell you, you know, I, I love you, streamer guy, or or maybe the guy has no idea you're streaming. Like that's Eve. Uh, These organic uh, experiences happen all the time. Wait, but, so like, what happens to my ship? Though. Well, your ship's gone. That doesn't exist anymore. It, it's been completely annihilated. Uh, there's probably some like like space trash back where you, your ship was blown up, uh, and they can loot it and take it, like whatever. It's usually fifty fifty. In fact, you can look in the bottom right hand corner where these yeah. notifications are, and you can we can. Let's look at what's called the kill mail. Oh, the kill, kill mail. Kill There's mail. a kill mail. A kill mail. Yeah. So the the one that says kill report available 
for the ship, not the pod. The one top one is pod. Okay. This is clone activated. This is insurance, and it says kill a report available. Uh, scroll down to that one with the heron. The one there. There yeah. we go. So anything green um, is, is something that dropped. So that person had the options to pick up the data analyzer, the cargo scanner, okay. the nano. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, where did we wake up to? We woke up in home. Uh, you have the choice. You could probably go to a system called RENS, R-E-N-S, and we can go to like, the market hub there, and you can see a, a buy all button on this page. Oh. That way you can rebuy all the things that you just lost, and grab your next ship, and go right back out there. Oh, I mean, um, okay. Maybe that's the move. I, I, I'm not sure here, man. Okay, so he just kind of like went to my location and then just blasted me, I guess. So yeah, he, one of two things, he was either already on the wormhole and came through right behind you, or he was already inside the wormhole, uh, watching the entrance and just waiting for, for somebody to come by so he could bop him on the head and, uh... So, so it's like stuff. rogues ganking people in STV, is that what you're exactly. saying? Exactly, like there levels. you go, yes. Okay, so he was sitting on, like, the camp where people go quest and then they just killed me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh... Before we actually... Someone we, explained we, me that we, I we... ask. Do you know I ask? Yes. Okay. They're saying that was Egghead. That's uh, it's, I ask is the one who, oh. who followed you around and, and blapped you. Oh. Oh, rip. Um, I have one little thing, though, before we, we continue here. We haven't really, like, introduced who you are, actually. Um, you helped me play a little bit before, but you can, you can introduce who you are, actually, because we were, since you're helping me out here and uh, explaining some stuff. Gotcha, sure. So I'm Rushlock. I stream EVE Online. Uh, I don't know how to do time zones, but basically... Every day the game turns off at the same time every day. It's called downtime. And that's when I start my stream. So I go from about three to four hours in the mornings, Monday through Friday, morning local time. I'm U.S. East Coast. Um, I do everything like basically in a live Q&A help desk format. So uh, I might do something in game in the background, just kind of like click buttons and change visuals and mm. talk about something in the background. But the main focus is, is reading chats and answering questions and helping people kind of either get introduced to the game or coming back to the game or switching from one activity to another, wherever the case may be, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're basically, you're, you're mainly like a EVE Online guy, but I feel like for me, when I get into it, it seems very overwhelming. Yes, absolutely. So, it's in, here's like the rub of it. They've done a lot in recent years where in the upper left-hand corner, I think you're like fourth or fifth, uh, fourth button down. Which one is Yeah, this? it's called the Air Program. And it's like this big guided, so there's your portrait, then there's skills, the button below the skills oh, air career is program. The, okay, right. okay, 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 I see it. It's kind of like a, a shopping list of things you can look at and get into early on as a player and just kind of like just, just explore around and, and see what stands out to you, what speaks to you. Uh, right okay. now you're in the enforcer tree. Uh, I think you can zoom back one. It'll show you the four different career paths you can uh, derp around in and, and check things out in. And basically just existing in EVE is going to gonna unlock a lot of these over time. Okay. But but they're meant as like a kind of like a, like a guidepost, I guess, for people. Um, you know how MMOs are, where if someone logs in and they don't have a gold to work toward, mm -hmm. um, that's like that's why Classic got so popular, right? Because people had could log in and they always had something to work on. Yep. And some that got you know kind of jaded with 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 retail didn't have that feeling anymore. Yeah, um, I can see that. And and with Eve, it's it's you always have something to work on, but with with Eve, you the player are responsible for setting your goal, where okay. a lot of other traditional MMOs are going to tell you what your goal is right like you need to work on this weapon skill today or you need to mm -hmm. uh, knock out this quest chain today or you need to finish this zone today uh eve just just puts you in a sandbox with some toys and tools and says all right go out and have fun uh -huh. and one of those common questions i get is like well what should i be doing right now yeah that's and what i was about doesn't... to ask you what should i do right now i'm a new player i don't know what i'm doing at all what should i do all right so Generally, when someone is new to Eve in, in my chat and they're coming through and ask that question, I tell them, you know, ask them, well, what do you want to do? You know, do you want to be a space pirate? Do you want to go around shooting people? Do you want to go around exploring? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go around building stuff? Do you want to go down shooting uh, NPCs? Like, there's no wrong answer. Like, do you want to be a, a space industrialist or, or a trader or whatever? Okay. And like you said, it's overwhelming because you have so many choices to pick from. You're like, I don't know. Like, there's, there's, it, I'm going to the ice cream shop and I'm being thrown 4,000 different flavors and being told, to pick them, yeah, and, and Eve's like, yeah, yeah, you are, and, and good luck to you. Like, okay, unless, unless you approach Eve with some kind of goal, um, we're like, I want to do. 
Like, for instance, we, Abyssal Dungeons is like a dungeon you can do, right? We can go mining, I suppose. Correct. Exactly. Let me get you... Um... See, now this is going to be a thing. Like, this okay. is more for chat's purposes. I don't know if... I'm going to DM it to you on Discord. You can choose to share it with them or not. I don't want to post anything in your Twitch chat and then, like, some sure. bot dunks me or something. But uh, this is basically... If someone said I want to get into Abyssals, I would throw this at them. Okay. So the, the first thing is, like... I don't have everything about Eve memorized in my brain, even after 10 years, because I, I don't need to. I know where the tools are, I know where the reference materials are. Okay. Um, and the basic idea is, if you want to start with Abyssals, this is where I send people. And all information for Abyssals are here. And there's like a like a new bro, like a, like a, like a newbie. Um, there's like one right there, I was like, I'm new, to, I'm new to Eve, or I'm new to Abyssals, what should I do? And they, they just kind of walk you through it. Now you're yeah. scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Yeah, you sorry, actually yeah. have to read all of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I was just uh, I was just seeing how much there was uh, for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, yeah. I don't, I don't intend for folks to 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 read all this their their first session. It's just yeah. the material yeah. is out there. It's like there's that section right there. I'm I'm new to new to Eve. You know, I want to start in Abyss. Where should I start? And ah. um, I recommend personally starting with frigates because okay. they're small, disposable, cheap ships. Okay. Um, and I don't the the go ahead. I, see, I, I don't know how much currency I have uh, to, to purchase. You have a lot because you have the yeah. They, you got like four thousand plex on your accounts and. Okay. What is your character name? Uh, Dark Rune. Uh, traditional spell. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have still my save my my save here from. Yeah, yeah. Last time. All right. So Dark Rune. Rune Dark Dark Rune. There's you. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Do this. <laughs> All right. You've got more than enough isk now to uh, do what we what we need to do. Um, oh, oh, you just gave me the okay. Yeah, yeah. You had, in fact, you had enough already, so you were, you were fine. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay, okay. In the upper left-hand corner, there's a search box, and I want you to type Rens. I'll type it in our DM for you, so you have a reference point. But I want you to go to that system when you're able to. It should be like two jumps away or Top left something corner. very short. Yep. There's a search. Uh, there's a magnifying glass. The words say "search for anything." It's above the word "home." Um. um. <clears throat> You're looking at buttons. Come to the right just a little bit. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. There you go. Is this usually how it is for new people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, like you said, everything's overwhelming. Like the UI is overwhelming. The I choices just, in front of you are overwhelming. I don't know where to look like, at because usually you get familiar with the UI and then you just instantly know what to click, right? And once you get yep. that familiarity, then you can like do it. Okay, so I go to what do you say? Systems. Solar systems. Yep. There's a and solar rents. system category. And I go five yep. jumps. Yep, yep. Uh, how, do, how do I go there again? Uh, you're going to... Uh, right click and then... Right uh, click it and set destination. Okay. Oh. Yeah, and then I undock, right, and get it there? Yep, yep. You Can this it. little ship warp? Yeah, you'll be fine. This is your pod. This is like... You uh, could have also hit the board Corvette right below the undock button. Yeah, I have a Corvette? Ship. Yep, yep. It's a little, like, uh, rookie ship, a little newbie ship they put you in. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a badass one. Like, so no matter what, like, like you asked before, what happened to my ship? Well, it's gone. What do I do now? I'm in a pod that can't do anything. Yeah, you're right. So you board your Corvette, and that Corvette can, like, shoot simple rocks, or it can, it can shoot simple NPCs. Like, oh. that way you never start off with nothing. Uh, you always have a way to claw your way back. Okay. So, a, yeah, the yellow gate is the one to take. On your overview, there's a yellow oh, gate so that's... we go there, uh, we warp. Yep, always take the yellow gate and just keep going, go, go, until you get the... Okay, going. okay, okay. So now we're, 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 we're heading through the space and we're heading to Renz, which is like a, a solar system, I suppose, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a market hub uh, closest to you. It's, it's where you would go to buy new ships and uh, resupply yourself after, like, here's the thing, like, we're going to go buy another ship, either for Abyssal or for Exploration, doesn't matter which one we buy, uh, it's going to die too. Like, oh, everything oh. is going to die. Like, every ship you take out into space is already dead. That's, that's the healthy way to approach EVE Online. Yeah. Is when Rins? people go like, oh, this is my new shiny ship and I love it, and I, mm, 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 <laughs> they're setting themselves up for failure in a bad time because they're going to lose that ship and they get upset. Okay. Okay. I'll be, is, is, is this the place? <laughs> is this the place? <laughs> <laughs> is what the place? This is the gate. You're going to jump the gate. Take the gate and just jump it. Oh. Uh, wait, how do I jump it? Uh, select it and then the third button over from the left. Um... Jump. Okay, jump. Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yep. And on the next mm -hmm. jump, you can uh, you can select the yellow gate and just click the jump button right away, and then you don't have to like warp to and jump. It'll just oh, it'll just okay, warp it just and jump goes. Yeah, okay, execution. it just goes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I have very little uh, experience with Wii Evo Online and issues to see. I only really played last time when we played together, and I've watched a few videos of like people getting scammed out of their ships and and like there's been a, there's been a lot of different YouTube videos about people getting like. <clears throat> Very much scammed in this game by each other. Yes, absolutely. It comes up every, I don't know, half decade or so. Some quote unquote uh, video game journalism website will do like a top 10 scams in video games, and Eve always gets at least two, if not three, of the, the spots on there for. My favorite one I think I've read, I don't know the context of it because this is the stuff I read before I played too, was uh, somebody ended up with beef with another player in game, and so they paid somebody like $500 in, in real world to go blow up the other player's ship. Like, so, you know, that was that was 15 years ago. You can't do that anymore without getting in trouble. But uh -huh. like back then, it was hilarious. It was just the idea that somebody put a, a real world money hit on someone's in game digital pixel spaceship that you know isn't even real. Like, yeah, I mean people. Will that's go how for emotionally it. charged to get. People will go uh, pretty big lengths with that. Or the like the multi year infiltration missions where uh, somebody starts a corporation or an alliance or whatever and. Um, gets the idea that oh I, I have a I have a beef with them I have an issue with them so I'm going to infiltrate their group I'm going to you know be so helpful indispensable with their goals I'm going to rank up in their organization and then and then one day you know tell them it was uh, I'll pick a name out of your chat tell tell them it was it was Mordelli or Mordi Mordiel <laughs> you know tell them it was me and I got him back after all this time for that time he shot me in in Apex Legends or whatever like. Yeah, I mean we have we have kind of similar things in uh, in World of Warcraft. We had something uh, we had a guy called Tiny Violin who who basically oh you know, yeah the guy wiped the yeah, yeah 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 he wiped like a whole raid in axe and there was like it was Judgment Day it was their time you know to to uh, <laughs> to lose all their hardcore characters and I guess it's similar with this because you but they you banned him for it, didn't they then they did they ban him for that I don't think he got banned for that I think he got banned for something else oh. but he has a lot of accounts okay, okay. I think gotcha yeah, so I just keep jumping until we're there I guess right. Yep, yep, yep. Keep taking gates okay. and jumping. Uh, yeah. Your two jumps out according to the route thing in the upper left hand corner. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh, so I'll, I'll Let me see if I can oh. find the actual station you're going to want to. Let's sure, see. sure. Okay. I'll search on my side. More daily. Station. I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> it's not those. It's Make sure to check out EVE Online, guys. We are sponsored today by EVE Online, by the way, to play it here. Right. We'll find out when we get there. Dude, Rushlok is a godsend, by the way. Oh my gosh. I would not know what to do, man. I'm not gonna lie. But we're, we're out here, boys. We're out here. Okay. There we go. Wait, so there's some people fighting here? Or what, what was that little shoot there? I haven't seen it on my side yet, so I'll tell oh, okay. you something. Does this look like someone was shooting or something like that? I think that was the, what we call gate flash. Uh, when, when somebody jumps through a Stargate, there's a, um, a flash. So that's why. Like when you're going through right there and all that, yeah. You know, other people will see it as a as a shooting light because it's it's your ship okay. warping through. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, wait. Where am I? Oh. Oh. Uh, one more jump. Oh, to next one. Next one. Next one. I see. I see. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, I know I'm in space, but you know what I mean. I just like the visuals in this game, man. I don't know. It looks really nice. Oh yeah, that's like. You think for a twenty-year-old MMO, like we're all used to, we're used to Eve, or Eve, we're used to WoW, uh, relatively looking the same. You know what I mean? Like the art style has stayed the same. Like they've, yeah. they've optimized it, they've they've changed the engine or not, but it's still the same game. Eve, you look at videos twenty years ago, and it's like the ships are blocky and shop, you know, like not pixelated, but uh, polygons or whatever, and yeah. and they've just done a great job over the years of of keeping it visually relevant. That's yeah, true. I don't know what's happening. Neither do I, Vader. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, we're learning. We're learning together. Now, did they mention? I don't know the the sponsorship. Did they mention the um, the Vanguard FPS that they're they're doing? Uh, I haven't heard about the Vanguard FPS. No, is that something new that they're working on? Or uh... yeah, it's in a like a three or four day uh, test period right now. It's public Ooh. or public to to Omega accounts or whatever. Okay. Um, subscribers, or whatever. So. For years, they well years ago they had a, a shooter on PlayStation Three, I think, called Dust Five One Four. Um, long story short, it it did well for its market, but it didn't get big enough because it was stuck on PS Three exclusive. So when it went away, people clamored for, "Hey, we want a shooter back again. We want a shooter back again." Well, they've, they've come up with Vanguard, and Vanguard is basically a module within Eve Online, oh. and they are testing ways to, so that the gameplay and objectives of players in the FPS can affect the 
uh, stats, numbers, and, and war efforts in EVE Online. Okay. Um, which is something that, that Dust did as well. And so it's it's been um, their goal to to pull that off is how to have a FPS module yeah. um, you know, impact its, its, its main franchise. And they're now able to do that. It's on PC. It's still in, in alpha beta. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a whole roadmap of things they're testing out this year. Every month, basically every month, there's a there's a test for it, like a four day four day test window for it every month. Okay, that's and they cool. Bug fixes or features or whatever, and so that's usually oh. what they're, they're doing. All these sponsored for is, is try to get eyes on the product, which it makes yeah. sense. But people's you know new people eyes on on Eve Online, and then the people who are more FPS oriented will of course. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's a it's a whole different market, I guess, because a lot of it seems to not be. It's it's a very unique game in like the way that Eve works, I guess. And FPS is a little bit it's a very different market. Mm-hmm, exactly. Let me find um the abyssal ship I want you to try out. And once we do that, I'll link it to you, and once we do that, I can get you to figure out what station in the system you're in is gonna be the one we're looking for. Okay, okay. Uh, Kestrel, I'm pretty sure. In fact, in the upper left hand corner, if you can search again for the word Kestrel, I'll send it to you in a DM again. Uh, oh. Kestrel is how you spell that. Um Okay, and then we're searching side. for corporations? There no? we go. Uh, no, this is going to be a ship. Uh, so, yep, ship is the third thing down. Okay. And then what do we do with that? And then right click on it. And I want you to view market details. Okay, so we're, how expensive it is or what? Oh, it'll be super cheap, but we're going to view market details to find out. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, before, yeah. So, in the price category here, if you can sort that for me so the cheapest floats to the top. That's why we like to see real quick. E- re- the, the, uh, yep, I'm doing that. Four hundred and eight. That's a lot, isn't it? No, that's nothing. That's, that's oh yeah, that's not nothing. Even million. Yeah, that's now that's we don't want to go to that one because that's four jumps away. We want to go to the one that's in system. That is six eight. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. So on the second one down, uh, this four hundred ninety seven thousand isk or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right click that and dock. I believe. Let me see what it says when you, when you yeah, right click. Yeah, dock. It. Cool. Yeah, dock there for me, please. Okay, I'll do that. Location, doc, perfect, good, good, good. All right, so how do I bring this up real quick so I can show it to you? Yeah. Yuck, 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 this is not gonna work here, is it? Um, <clears throat> oh, there we go, that'll work. We, we're doing good, chat, we're popping off here. I need a way. Let's do dark rune. Okay, so we're, we're on and our way to- And there's a character dark rune. I'm gonna send you a shake. conversation. Should I turn that off? That way I can link things to you in game. Mm-hmm. There's you. Okay, we're doing really good. You. You'll get a pop up in a second. Just accept it. And yeah. I'm behind Adwall again. I'm Eero Warwick. So Eero Warwick is me. Yeah, Warwick. I've sent you a ship fitting. And you can click that to see uh, basically everything you need. It'll, it'll, when I get through the ad block, um, oh. it'll tell us and make sure whether or not you can use everything. And if you can't use everything, that's fine. We can fix that too. But Okay, okay, okay. So how do I see what would you send me? Uh, the convo I sent you is a chat window. There are yellow letters. Simply left click the yellow oh, letters. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here. And I see it, yeah. Does it say fit? Uh, well, I want to know if. It's all, all the, compatible. Uh, yeah, it's compatible. Do you, so you have blue check marks all the way through, yeah. is that correct? It's super blue. Cool. Uh, then you want to. Once you're inside the station we went to, you want to hit the buy button. And when you hit the buy button, the window will pop up and it'll start populating with all the things you need. And then before you purchase it, there we go. Hit the buy button, and then I'll yeah, I'm back from the ads, so I can see again. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. So yeah, like six point six million. This is nothing. So go ahead and hit the buy button there. Okay. That yeah, that's nothing. Six million ain't nothing for me. Okay. There we go, guys. Yeah. And this is so this is a warning saying some of these items are above market prices, and that's just a good indicator to show a user like, hey, there's an opportunity here, trading wise, to. Go build some of these, or go procure some of these, bring them to this market because yeah. competition is too weak, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, now, in the inventory window you have open, uh, I want to go to your ship hangar. Yep. And then and we I got the you kestrel. To your kestrel. Yep, yep. I got a slasher. Oh, you have a kestrel from last time. Okay, so you have oh. um, the one on the left. Double click the one on the left. Okay. You have two two kestrels, and I, I suspect we have this one fitted up and ready to go from last time. Oh, mayhaps, yeah. So I need to now, look at the Kestrel and... Oh, how do I do that? Uh, right click and... Dude, I got confident. That's a good question. It should be like a show fitting button. I got uh, confident. On the left hand side in your menu, there's a there's a fitting that looks like a spaceship inside of a circle. Uh, the hotkey is Alt F if you want to do that. There should be somewhere to, to look at the fitting somewhere. Okay. Oh, yeah. See all the guns. 
Yeah, this is the one I remember, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we flew this before already. Cool. Yeah, we did. Um, we owned. We might be a little light on. So in the in the of this window in the bottom left hand corner, not quite bottom left, but like the bottom left of this picture of your ship, there's a two sets of numbers, like zero out of zero, and then thirty one point one out of one sixty. I want you to click the thirty one point one out of sixty. Okay. I basically want to put more ammo in the ship, and I want to see if we can. Oh, uh, so you want to follow up with the Nova? Yeah, Nova? click that one. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that one. Uh, and then, yeah, bring the Caldari Navy Novas over. Just cliff click and drag them, and drop them on your ship, and it'll it'll load the. Oh, the like automatically or what? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. We'll see how it behaves. Perfect. Oh yeah, we got plenty of ammo. Okay, cool. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh you kept your your loot. So right click in your active ship inventory, the the window you drag the missiles from. Right click and open space inside the inventory and just uh, stack all. It'll stack, stack all. all. Okay. So oh, that's yeah. way better, yeah. And then so that, that's an, all. Oh, those. All. Wait, wait. Electric. Those uh, electrical things, are those for like uh, the dungeons? The, well, the ones we're going to use are we're going to use. We're going to use Calm Dark. Yeah. In fact, we need to, we need to probably grab some for you. So. We're doing the We're prepping up guys. I'll I'll link it to you, it'd be faster. So calm dark, tranquil dark. Which one's which? I think tranquils are lower, so let's do tranquil. Uh the conversation we have open, I want you yep. to click the new item. Market and details. I want you to right click it and view market details. Yeah, got it, got it. I'm getting good at this. Perfect. Yep, yep. Okay. And I want you to buy six of them. There's four hundred eighty one from the current bestseller. And you're gonna buy six of them by double clicking. Oh God! Oh, 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 am I am I doing? Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> he's Wait, what, he's what, clicking what? buttons, boys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I'm getting, I'm getting confident here. It's not good. There you go. Is uh, that good? Cancel on the thing I'm looking at right now. Oh, okay. Uh, Canceling. <laughs> uh. All right. So in the list here, uh, there's a uh, top part where it says sellers. The first one listed as sellers. I want you to double click that. Uh. Oh, oh, now you're doing yeah. jumps. Oh, no, oh yeah, boy. I just, yeah, okay, oh, sorry. Oh boy, guys, he's everywhere. He's... Seller, seller, seller. Where's the seller? I don't know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we're going to play a game called Simon Says. <laughs> so, oh, there's a price tab. We're going to click the price tab and sort so the cheapest one floats to the top. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Oh, this is the okay. So I borrowed this. This is that. how the warlock died, isn't it? This is exactly how the warlock died. So double click that. Six of those. And you're gonna fill that in with a six. Yeah, I got that. Okay, then hit buy. Ooh, okay, we got there. We got there, boys. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Yeah, now okay. you can close this window here. Yeah, closing it. Okay, I, I gotta wait till the stream catches up. So now we got some of those. So you right? can close that one. Yeah. Now this one will keep open. Actually, Clogan close that one too. We can close this one though. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, on that inventory window, I want you to go to item hanger. You look down a little bit and go to item hanger in your inventory. Uh, item hanger? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the fitting window yeah, can close. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got some uh, glasses and stuff. Okay. Uh, let's all see it. Yes, I want you to um, go to tranquil dark. Oh, cool, you have some spares in here. Where'd you get that Cyclone Fleet Issue skin? We'll, we'll oh. look into that later. Oh, okay. Um, I want you to move those into your... Sh your uh, how am I going to teach you this? So, I want you to click and drag the Tranquil Darks up into your, your ship's cargo bay. Your ship's cargo bay is where it says Dark Runes Kestrel. Yeah. Got it. In the same window. I'll wait until I, I just watch it happen. Yeah, you did it perfect. First try. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, we're good. Now we can uh, beat the mini boss. Undock. Beat the mini boss, undock. Okay, I'm undocking. Oh my god. I feel like I'm becoming right. smarter while playing this game, though. Yeah. You'll build muscle memory, and then you'll and then you'll look back one day, like, how did I not know how to do this? And then yeah. people ask you questions, and you're like, I don't know how to answer them. You can close your fitting window. We're, we're done looking at that. Okay, okay, okay. So now, we, now, now we have a ship again. Window as well. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, you can close the other window. It has, like, a list of fittings and such. Oh, I just closed... I wouldn't do that. Uh, that. That's a bit much. That's... Yeah, yeah. It is like it. It was there. Remember I, I Simon don't... says, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, gotta... my bad. My bad. How do I open those? How again? are we gonna get those? We need those back. We yeah. we need those back. Yeah. I don't know how how to get those back. 
You don't. There's you a hotkey somewhere, but you don't know how see. to get those back. Okay. How? Well, yeah, I, I usually yell at people before they do that. So. Oh, <laughs> to, to get my Eve overview know. back. There's a hotkey. I'll find it. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Uh, there's also a restore button, which restore your overview back. Blah blah blah. Of course, in some it is. Let's go here. Uh, yeah. Oh man. I wonder if I should minimize mine on my side and then. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's a good idea. And then maybe I'll, I'll figure out. Oh, wait, Haven't you maybe? played this for ten years? How do you not know that? Locations, directional scanner. <laughs> I haven't closed my overview in ten years though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna Google it as well. Man, there's definitely a way to get this back. What is it? I feel like there's a. Um, Control there's Alt a Space. Key. Wait. Is that it? Speed. Oh, I changed my speed. Oh, okay. Let me ask my my fleet chat real quick. Uh, let's see. Fleet chat. I'm in a fleet right now. They're doing something and yada yada. Uh, guys, dummy streamer closed his overview. What the fuck? What is the hotkey to restore it? All right, we got this. We'll we'll get it right back. No problem. It's uh, fine. And the... It'll be super easy. It just look like you know I when got... you have a bunch of windows open on your computer. I just closed everything. Exactly. Everybody. Yeah. It... Hold on. They're, they're, well, they're laughing first, and then once we get past their laughing part, they'll. they'll Why would they make it so you could close it then? That makes no sense. Control tab to switch through open windows. Control tab. That's not gonna work. That's like for like Windows window. Oh no, that's actually it. All right. So hold down Control and press tab. What? Oh my God. So it's actually like computer window. Look at that. Yeah. Oh sure. Uh... Yeah, you got it back. We told this person thank you. Uh, thank you. I'll yeah. drop in my heart. There we go. Drop in my heart. Two dummy streamers now in your debt. There we go. Okay, we got them squared away. Um, so we, we need to bring back the uh, selected item also. You got one of them back. There you go, selected item. I saw it. Oh. It was there. Yeah, got it, got it. All we have to do is use, we have to read our words. And we're, I got it, I got it. Fine. Ask, excellent. Yep. Okay, we're, we're safe now. We're, cool. We're good. Okay. So what's the so, plan now? What are we doing? We're going to press L. Remember the L one? Yep. The L, the L key? Okay. Loser, that's gonna bring yeah. up a list of nothing probably to start. That's fine. We can we can fix that. Oh god, we got. Oh no, why is this here? Okay, uh, he closed everything. So <laughs> that box with the 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 arrow pointing up and to the right. We want to hit that again so it pops out. We want to pop out that that window. Yeah, yeah, again. got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I closed that too because it was like, yeah, my bad. Cool. All right, so close the other window that we had open. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. I'm watching. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, let's see. Okay. We gotta get somewhere away from things. Uh, we're gonna use those filaments. Can you open up your ship's inventory? It is the cargo container looking thing. Uh, top button on the far left column, down bottom center of your screen. You said way too many words. Yeah, I know. Uh, down center, middle of the screen. Down center, middle of the screen. Okay. For your shields and your capacitor. Inventory. Got it, got it, got it. The cool. box. Awesome. Okay, I'm waiting. Perfect. Yep. So we want to use we want to use the um, the tranquil darks, but we can't use them here because we're too close to the station. We've got to get somewhere else. To get somewhere else, let's go to your probe scanner. Okay. We're going to look to a sun or a planet or a moon or something. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. So we're scanning or what? Oh, we're not going to scan. We're just going to use the probe scanner as like a map. Cool. So I know where you are. Um, there you go. Pick one of the things you had your mouse cursor on and warp to it. It can be it can be a moon. It can be a belt. It can be a gate. I don't care what it is. Just make okay. it far away from. I'm gonna you. go to Abu Dhabi. Yes. Don't jump. I swear to. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah yeah. Hey, I now, warped. While I you're warped. warping, hit Control B. Hit Control B. Oh, okay. And in okay. the middle of the warp, make a make a bookmark. This is bookmark, super important. Bookmark. Oh, bookmark. Okay. Oh, bookmark. Oh god, he's he's getting super pressured. You this told me to warp, man. Is, but you're fine. Everything's great. We're safe, boys. We're good. <laughs> yeah. We're good. Why would you We're say safe. it like that? Okay. What the man? Okay. This is why we have the hairline we have. Oh, is that you? Is... Oh, who's that? What? It's a navy. No, no, no. We're fine. Oh, okay. So in that window that we made with locations, you'll see there's something called a spot. All right. Yeah, I see it. You see the word spot? I want you I to right-click the word spot and warp to zero. Right-click and warp to zero. Okay, got it. <clears throat> is this harder than actually flying in space? I'm starting to think it is. 
Right? Because you think like, oh, I should have like a, a control stick and like a throttle or something. It'd be. Yeah. I don't think Gooser will make it as an astronaut. I I will. I I will. <laughs> That's All right. Okay. So now we're gonna land and we're gonna open up the inventory again and we're gonna double click that uh, calm dark filament thing. Yeah. Okay. So what does this do? It's gonna open up a kind of like a wormhole and you're gonna go in it and you're gonna face a three. No, dude. Oh, let's see. I feel like this is tranquil dark. Yeah, tranquil dark. That's fine. Okay. You got a stack of three and a stack of twelve. This is okay. Okay. Uh, tranquil dark. So what do I do? Double click it and don't jettison. Don't... Oh, you use sorry. It. There sorry. you go. My bad. Oh, Space oh. out. Oh gosh. Okay, so this is like a dungeon, right? Yeah, exactly. Because I, rem I remember we did this before. There's like yep. three levels. There's bosses. Yep. Yep. You got it. Okay. So change I... where it says cruiser and change that to frigate. Okay, frigate. Mm hmm. You must form a fleet. That's probably true. Uh, in our conversation, I can I can probably do that from here. Let me do that for you. Uh, okay. Rune. I'm in a fleet. Fuck my life. All right. So right click your own name. Right click your own name and form fleet. Form fleet with. So I'm in. Yourself. I'm Dark in the fleet area. with myself. Form fleet with. Yes. There you go. Perfect. Now okay. you, can, you can minimize these windows again. Not the filament window. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. <clears throat> can we find a supernova? Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah. know if there is supernovas. Okay. okay. Uh, what else is it angry about? Um, I think we're fine. Close that, close that filament window and then reopen it and see if it makes it happier. Uh, it's not happy. Abyssal filaments cannot be activated in 1.0 or 0.9 security systems. Oh, this is new since the last time we did this. I forgot about this. So oh, okay. they got tired. They, being CCP and other players, whatever, got tired of people running stuff in the new bro spot. Um, okay. And so they want us to go to more dangerous space. Let me bring up a map real quick. Oh, I gosh. will fix that. Is it We're gonna have like, like a jump or two, and we'll be fine. But I'll fix it. No, this is a website. Um, oh, okay. You're in Ren, so I'm gonna go there. Um, All right. Perfect. We're gonna make one jump. We're gonna go to a place called ABU, ABU, and jump into that system. Abu. Yep. Wait, how do I do that? You select the gate and jump into it. It's it's, it's the top gate. Oh, that's the first one. Okay, jump. Okay, jumping. Yeah, yeah. Abu, okay. Rusik seems like a guy who's never been stressed in his life before having to teach. Now, when you jump into this next system, what? I want you to warp to, not jump, but warp to another gate. And on your way to that gate, press Control B and make another bookmark so we have a place to okay Ooh. set up at. Okay, so which which gate do I warp to? Uh, once you jump the Abu gate, I don't care where you warp to. Just pick any random gate and warp to it, but don't jump it. Uh, and while you're warping to it, I want you to press Control B and make a new spot. Okay. There could be a station also, don't be a gate. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna go to Otatric. Jump? Cool. Yep, yep. Don't jump! Oh, warp. We don't warp. jump! It was warp, 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 warp. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. And you gotta hit Control B and make a spot before you get there. Uh, spot. Warp. Okay, spotting. This I is a lot to take in, okay? okay. You made the spot before you even warped, so we're gonna have to make another spot. Warp to something further away this time. Oh, I s okay, warping. You were too much of a pro gamer to. Uh, Did you just set to. Oh, oh, yeah, those are both not gonna work. We're gonna have to. Oh. Now delete those. Right click those and delete them. So Remove. We don't get okay, yeah, don't ask me again. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, let, I'm gonna go uh, to. What's... Something further away. That, yeah, that'll work. I don't know. What's an Anything AU? Anything further away. AU is distances. So AU is the distance between Earth and the Sun. So, something is 12 AU away, it's 12 distance uh, back distances and forth. Uh, of light. I think it's light, I think it's the speed of light. Now remember to control B on the way there. Yeah, control wait B. Till warp. Wait till you warp, wait, 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 oh. uh, wait, and uh, now make one in the middle of the warp. Yeah, make it one. Okay, uh, yeah, wait, two. make another one. Yeah, yep, made two. Yeah, made two. Yep. Yeah, we're, so, we're fine. This is totally fine. I think you made two. Okay, that's fine too. Uh, hit the When you land, hit the bottom of your two. Uh, but Okay, yeah, uh, got it. Yeah. I thought so, Gymnast. I thought that's what it was. Yeah. All right, yeah. warp to zero on that. Warp to zero on that. Got it, got it, got it. Wait, so, but that's the one we just made. So now we're going back? Uh, yeah, sure. 
We're, we gotta get to, we have to go somewhere that isn't close to something to use that filament. Uh, it won't let us use the filament close uh, to. Oh, so we're making a little in. portal along the way, and then we're going back to the exactly. one we made. Yep. Okay. Okay. How was the game? Uh, good. Yes. All right, so open that inventory back up and use that filament. We're going in. Oh, okay, we're going in. So tranquil dark, uh, you said the frigates and then activate for fleet. Correct. Right, so this is a dungeon we're doing now, eh? Correct. Uh, activate for fleet. And you'll notice it says three frigates. Because you're a pro gamer, you're going to handle this all by yourself. Okay. Or your ship will blow up. One of the two will happen. You know, it's the same, same okay. either way. So how do I go inside? Where am uh, I inside? On your overview, or yeah, abyssal uh, trace. Uh, uh, all things are happening. Yep, abyssal trace. Approach. Uh, activate gate. Let's see. Activate gate. There we go. Okay, activate. Okay. Now, when we first jump through, uh, there's like a little bit of time of like invulnerability, and you're kind of just chilling as long as you don't oh, rapidly click things for no this reason. This is cool. Um, we'll talk about things here. So there's yeah, there we go. We got a ship and a, and a can. Okay, the Triglavian so bio container has the loot in it. Um, and then the Lucid Escort is a thing you want to blow up. So you probably want to select the Lucid Escort. Approach. And then uh, I would orbit it. Yeah, I'm going to do that um, too. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. And then put your mouse cursor. Oh boy, we got to do, we got to do a lot of things. We got to turn on your, uh, your, okay, turn okay, on okay, your um, afterburner. Okay, the turn afterburning. Turn on your shield hardener. So turn on uh, the orange thing. Yeah, got it. And got turn it. on the prop mod. There you go. Yeah, got there, it. Okay. It. I'm pressing this. this. Fine. Okay, that's yeah, that reps you. Don't leave it running all the time, though. Oh, okay, don't, yeah, don't. not doing the that. Blue one has to go on and off. There we go. Okay, turning oh, it off. You have to. Okay, you gotta target the ship too. Okay. Oh, boy. Um. You gotta target the ship. Look at. Uh, look. Look at. Oh no. Uh, lock target. Lock target. Oh boy. Okay. okay. Clicking my buttons. This is. This is fine. Oh, you got look it. at my ship. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, turn on the blue thing to fix your shields. Turn on the blue thing to uh, fix your shields. Fixing it. Uh huh. Oh, so they, it's like a heal, I guess. Yep. It's gonna oh. keep cycling. Once you're healed, you turn it back off. Yeah, because it, it uses energy, right? Correct. Where do I see my energy? It's the dead center of your overview. Ooh, uh, the, the little orange one, capacitor. Yeah, the, the stuff you're running out of very quickly. Let's turn the, the So I turn off. that off. Uh huh. And I see their health up here, I guess. Dude, they are not dying. They are not. I mean, they're dying slowly, but they're taking a while here. What don't I like? Let's see. You you worry about the tanking and staying alive. I'll I'll see what I can figure out about the rest. Okay, of it. okay. Hmm. Both screen shield. We could probably okay, so... mitigate that. All right, so. Okay. Put your mouse cursor over your missile launcher for me. Just let it sit for a second. And yeah. Turn your tank off. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Range is twenty one. Okay, perfect. So you keep staying alive without running out of energy. And we are going to orbit. We're going to select the target. We're going to right click and orbit at like 10 kilometers. Okay. So now we're going closer. Uh, hopefully, we're going further. Oh, we're going. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I thought nice. you guys use kilometers over there. Yeah, we do. We do. We do use kilometers. Okay. All right. Because you don't want these kind of Twitch chat catching on to American. Understanding kilometers better than the. Not yeah, that, that, that's let's not get into that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll never let that go. Okay, so I'm, I'm. Okay, so it's 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 taking yeah. half damage. It's it's slowly dying. It is dying eventually. Yeah, I mean the health is going down. I, I think. Yeah, remember you're effectively like a day one player. You know, like you have like the worst skills possible for like numeric skills, like skill training and stuff like that. Yeah, so. it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of that, yeah. And the ship that you're using is meant to be disposable. Like when I when I send people into the abyss with this thing, like they're it's not that they're going to die every single time, but like them dying is not like a shock because we have like hundreds of these things just lying around. We oh, send okay. them another one and send them back in. And so it's like every, 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 exactly every hour, their skills are getting better, their damage is going up, their tank is getting better, their speed is getting faster. Like everything is is improving for them. Okay, so and so what why... you're looking in this one is to how to manage your tank and not die and not run out of energy at the same time. So why why did we go to ten kilometers? What was the reason for that? Yeah. So uh, this is a dark filament, and and based on the flavor of the filament we take. Uh, there are different buffs and debuffs. Right above your overview, there's a black circle that will list the buffs and debuffs in this type of space for dark space. Okay. Uh, I if I remember correctly, this one's speed-based, meaning everything basically just moves faster. Uh, velocity bonus 50%, so yeah, 
missiles do more damage, do more damage based on their speed. So if missiles are traveling faster, they're going to have a higher impact when they hit their target. Uh, they also get to their target faster. So basically, that's why we're using a missile boat in this type of a site, because missiles are, are effectively buffed, or indirectly buffed. Okay. Uh, the ships are moving faster too, so that kind of weakens the missiles. It's kind of a, of a weird little play on the, the game's mechanics, but you're also moving faster. And so yeah. by orbiting at a greater radius, we are going to mitigate, or what's called speed tank, the incoming damage. It's harder for the ship shooting at you to track you, it's harder, like, a whole bunch of math is going on, basically. If you look at your overview, it's showing you the speed of the, the NPC. And, this, and, the, and the NPC is moving at, like, 1,300 and something. Um, yeah. They have something called angular velocity, which is currently, is like, 6.2. And then smarter nerds than me could break down for you, like, what angular velocity means numerically. But the basic concept is um, angular velocity is an advantage uh, system that, like, uh, ship A versus ship B who has the advantage on applying damage to them. So, okay. That's more relevant when you're like really, really, really min-maxing. And, and Th that was the in-depth explanation, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Do you guys have um, carnivals over there? Like where you get inside of a, of like a machine or a ride yeah, and it spins you around really, really fast? Yeah. Okay, imagine you and your buddy were across from each other and you had like water pistols, right? Oh! You could hit each other pretty easily because yeah, you're dead across from each other. Yeah. But if one of you was inside of it and one of you was outside of it, you know, obviously it'd be a lot harder for either of you to hit the other one. So you're calculating the distance with the velocity and henceforth also the trajectory of the missiles. Exactly. And therefore you gotta move a little bit further away if the yep. trajectory is not allocating with the velocity. Yep, exactly. Okay. Cool. Okay, he's almost dead though. He's almost dead. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm behind an ad wall, so you got 20 seconds for your own. Oh, it's okay. When it dies, what, what, what target did you say? the loot can. What? I'm behind a, uh, an ad wall. I can't oh, oh shoot. I mean, I can share my screen if you right. want. No, no, no. It's, wait, watch this. I, I do something with my chat called Dodge Kappa. You've seen this before, like, really, like, obnoxious people would be like, oh, <laughs> 50 gifted subs went out. I dodged Kappa. Ha <laughs> ha. So we took that because we're like, all of us play Eve or old, and we put it into I something get... else, and now we make it a joke that if you put Dodge Cap in chat, your chances of being gifted stuff go up. So that's what oh. I do whenever I get stuck behind. Oh, wait, okay, I, I'm back. I think I killed it. I think okay, I killed, killed it. You killed it. You killed it. So select the loot can, the Triglavian bio, whatever. Uh, um, yeah, you're going to yeah, approach yeah. it. You're going to approach it, and when you get within like 20 kilometers, you'll shoot it. Okay, so I'll turn off my, my shield hardener. I'll heal a little bit more because I'm running exactly. some health. I can exactly. turn on my afterburner, right? Give you. Yeah, I'll turn the afterburner on and leave that on while you burn in. When you get to 20 kilometers, shoot it one time. Don't shoot it more than once because there's no reason to. And once you've done that, your ship will stop moving that direction because the thing doesn't exist anymore. And so you'll have to uh, select the loot can that fell out. Thank you, oh, that's so weird. For gifting it, much it, it, I, I can't get over how often this works, but thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Asakos? I'm with Asakos. So thank you. That's very kind of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, how do I. How, uh, uh, um, um. I'm shooting. Oh no. Okay, I did it, I did it. Oi! Now there's, now there's some loot that dropped. He's gonna loot the, the can that dropped. You're gonna select cargo? it and loot it. Yep, open cargo. And then loot all. And uh, then you have the loot. Oh, loot all? Okay, so we got some survey. You have to be within 2,500 meters to loot it. Uh, there you go. That, okay, that, loot all, uh, very good. Yeah, okay, cool. So, and then you're gonna go to the gate and take the gate. Okay, so this was the first part of the... Uh, Yep, that was room one. There are okay. two more rooms, and you're on a 20-minute clock. So every room has to be finished within six and a half minutes, like a... or you die. Wait, what, what did you say? Yeah, so these things have a 20-minute clock on them, so you have to average a six and a half minute clear time per room, otherwise you die automatically. Oh, is that the thing at C-top left? Uh, yep, the red, yeah, the red... So it uh, collapses in 11 oh. minutes and 15 seconds. 15 exactly, seconds. yep. So it's gonna d delete you right out of existence. Okay, so now there's some stinger needles. String, yep. strike pick needles. one and kill it. Yep, orbit at 10k. Pick one, orbit at 10. And stay alive, turn your hardener back on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I just start shooting and stuff like that, I guess. Exactly. Well, don't shoot immediately. Wait till you're within range. You gotta target them first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, lock target, nice. And now I'm just gonna start shooting. Oh, they're really close to me, actually. This is maybe a little bit too close. I'm doing uh, big damage, though. It'll figure itself out, yeah. 
Yeah, they're gonna die a lot faster. There's two of them instead of one of them, so. Yeah, okay, okay. So they're like smaller units, I guess? Exactly. So can there yeah, be the like... try to balance each other out. Can there be like really, really, really big battles with like a lot of ships in this game? Yes, so you can have like hundreds versus hundreds, thousands versus thousands. Uh, the downside is, so all the marking will show you that. All the marking like, come be a part of a huge space battle, and then reality is something called tie-dye. Time dilation, which is when space gets really, really full of a lot of people and a lot of ships, everything slows down uh, to a fraction of, of real time. And so you'll press the button to activate your weapon, and like two minutes later, it'll actually fire. Oh, it gets absolutely ridiculous. So, okay. okay, it's it's basically the most unfun thing in the world. But once you're addicted to the game, you chase it because uh, you want to be a part of some big organization and a big part of uh, Eve history and big battles. Because you know this isn't like Alterac Valley where you win one Tuesday afternoon and then you know two days later it's like it never happened. Yeah. Um, and Eve, when big battles happen, like. You basically suffer for 8 to 16 hours, and then afterward it's like, oh man, remember that day that really sucked? That Tuesday was the worst Tuesday ever. <laughs> but as bad as it was for us, it was a worse Tuesday for the other guys because they lost everything. Oh, So it's very so, nihilistic so, or very... So it's about making other day, other people's days worse. Exactly, yeah. Yours yeah, is. your day's going to suck anyway, so oh. you want to make sure their day sucks a little bit more. So. Oh, that is that is the true MMO mindset. I, I, can, I can get right? rid of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I killed one of them. I heard you could. So one guy said so you can control click the thing and it locks on the target. Uh, yeah, exactly. You can control left click and it will from your overview uh, okay. the list of things. Basically, you can left control left click and it will it will target it. Okay, okay. You can do that now with the uh, loot can just to have it uh, practiced. Oh, the loot can? Is that the? Now remember, the... you're overupping. You're burning all your energy out. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Things. I forgot. Yeah, sorry. I, I heard there was like a beeping yeah. sound, but I was just ignoring it. <laughs> yeah. I <t> <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Now, when uh, this NPC dies, you're gonna approach the loot can, get within 20 kilometers, shoot it, uh, approach it again for whatever falls out of it, and then uh, loot okay. that, and then immediately burn to the gate and jump the gates so we can have a yeah, chance. Yeah, we, we need to uh, actually through. make it. This room went really fast. So that's really good. We're we're doing great on time for this room. But yeah, it's a lot faster than the previous one. one. Yep. Okay, so where where was the loot can? That was the. Support pylons? No, that's not those. Oh, it's that one. The cache, I guess. He's not dying. Okay. Okay, so we approach. Alright, that one's dead, so you're yeah. gonna approach the loot can. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, turn, turn off my shield, maybe heal a little bit, and then we reload it again, yeah. and then we can go for the final. Uh, right click right? your missile launcher and reload it also. That'll help too. Reload all, okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Turn the repper off. Oh, yeah, yeah, doing that, doing that. I'll oh, shoot missiles one that. time after the reload. Also, the reload is a little load bar there, I see, yeah. Mm hmm. Grab a piece of candy that fell out and then take the gate. Okay. Loot all. All right, get some fatty loot here. Uh, where's the gate? That's the warp gate. We activate the gate. Okay. I thought WoW players were supposed to not be clickers. Well, yeah, well you, you do click in this game, I think, though, chat. Okay, so now we got the final spot here. Oh, that's the cache. I guess I'm going to focus on that one and then go orbit 10k again. And then we start fighting, eh? Sounds good. And you can always check your clock to see how much time you have left, too. Oh, we got seven minutes. That should be fine. Yeah. Let's we'll force go out. Hey! You're nowhere near that weekend, by the way. Oh, sorry. It's pissed off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit far away from it. I should be able to get it. Why is this guy so loud with the with the guns? I don't know. This is a tram -like? But yeah, it is using guns instead of missiles or lasers, so... Holy I see, shit. I see it shooting rockets, too, I think. Okay. Wait, no, he's selected, right? Well, you should probably I... use your uh, your tank. Oh, yeah. And you should stop, stop shooting your missiles until you get closer. You're, you're moving away from the loot oh, can. Oh, you're yeah. not even shooting. What? Oh, yeah. boy. This yeah. is... Yeah. This is old. No, he's... Is the... Is that guy, right? Approach orbit. 10k. Yeah, you're you're orbiting the, the the NPC, which is good, but you're shooting the loot can would be bad. Oh. Because you're nowhere how... near loot can. Wait, how do I... Look at... Oh. Oh, he looks like this. Oh, okay. Yep, you're selecting. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, got oh. it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, oh, we're... Oh. You no, should I'm probably shoot him. Yeah, I, I am shooting him very much. 
Okay, he's getting shot. <laughs> we got plenty of time. We got six minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's all the time in the world. This is fine. Yeah. You know what's dirty is when you kill the NPC and you grab the loot can and you die on your way to the gate. That's, that happens. Oh. That's a thing. So if you die, you, you just straight up lose your ship. Yep, ship and pod. Everything dies. But why... Is it worth getting a good ship then? Ah, so yeah, the higher tier you go into Bissels has a higher payout yield potential and you're constantly having to weigh that risk versus reward. So, you know, familiarity, you know, player experience, not just skill points. That's a big thing, that's a big topic. For years and years, you couldn't buy skill points in EVE and now you can, effectively. And so older players get mad about that. When you look at new systems like this, where you realize skill points don't translate to winning, it means you could just be in something bigger and more expensive and lose it. And yeah. Because you don't have the, so the familiarity. Yeah, it's very much like a game you gotta, you, you really gotta like learn what's worth and what's not worth and like how to do stuff. Mm hmm. It's called Eve Online, Dakota. Okay. So the yeah. good news is this thing is dying. As long as this thing, the shield tanked, we're great. If we hit its armor and armor goes slow, then it's gonna get dicey. But this, yeah. It's going well so far. I mean, we've got 4 minutes and 50 seconds left. It's definitely a shield weapon. Okay, so it's shield weapon is definitely a shield tank. Okay, good. Yeah. Using these missiles to get out there fast. We're learning to become a, a space pirate chat, okay? This looks dumb as hell. Get out. You can't. You can't get out. You're trapped in here. Yeah. You cannot escape as long as the NPC is alive. So the only way you can leave this place is if we actually kill him. Or, or you die. Oh. <laughs> That's not the only way. Uh, it's it's yeah. the preferable way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. Could you like min max and then start heading to the gate now as he's following? Or maybe that's not worth. Yeah, you can kite, yeah, you can kite him back to the gate. You can orbit the gate and it'll, it'll follow you. Oh, okay, as long okay. as he's within 20 kilometers of you, you'll still do damage to him. Okay, okay. Yeah, because he's like really close, but he's gonna die hopefully soon. Okay, so if I go, I would to head the... back towards the gate because you're very far away from the gate. You yeah, I'm gonna start approaching the, the Bioko thing. Cut. But I still shoot him because he's gonna be following yep, me, yep. right? Yep, yep. As so as we're, kite, we're kiting now. Yep. Okay. What's that? This is not taking damage, man. Oh yeah, we went right through his armor. Here we go. What's crazy is he has his shields back and we're still tearing through his armor. Yeah. What, how do I see his shield is back? Uh, so, on the top of the screen, um, the first layer is shields, the second layer is armor, and the third layer is health. Oh. Oh. Yeah, if you put your mouse cursor over it, it'll, it'll show display, it'll show you the numbers. Shield, oh, okay, 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 okay. Shield remaining, armor remaining, and structure remaining. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Okay, so we're slowly burning through that. So when you burn through the shield, then you burn through the armor, and then you burn through the structure. Mm-hmm. And once the hole is reduced to zero, the ship blows up, and then that's it. Uh, easy clap, yeah, okay, okay. Now, you don't have to loot the loot can to escape. So if this thing dies, you don't feel like enough time to hit the loot can and loot it. And yada yada, okay. you can go straight to the gate. Okay, but he's gonna die, right? I hope so, right? You're in, you're in his structure now, look at that, he's taking structure damage. Yeah, he is taking structure damage. Don't over rep. Well, yep, 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 not over repping. Can we visit Antorus? I don't know if that's possible. You change the angle of attack and now angular velocity is against you? <laughs> no! We're doing good. We're, we're, we're doing damage, chat. Okay, we're slowly doing damage. <laughs> we're really close to the Bioko now, though, so we can move instantly once we kill him. Mm -hmm. We got um, two minutes left. He just needs to die. Yep, he's got a low, low structure, so that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to orbit this guy. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. That ball is so close to me. Okay, he's almost dead. Flip. He is, yeah. Two good volleys and he'll go down. I would go ahead and approach the gates. Uh, not the not the loot? Okay, yeah. You can sit on the loot. Yeah, we, we need the loot though, right? Did you ever watch Star Trek or Stargate? I've never watched uh, Star Trek or Stargate, no. 
It's painful to watch. I, I'm trying to learn, Margaret. We have one minute remaining. One more hit That's and then fine. he's dead. Sure. Or two. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna predict two. Yeah, so there's one. I'm using those missiles to get there. Then you gotta shoot the loot can and get to the gate. Everything's fine. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, so I I I I, I lock target, target and then yeah. I shoot. Yep. Yep. Wait, why is he not shooting? Because you have to wait for your missiles to cycle. Missiles are cycled? Okay. Oh, okay. Shoot it. Uh, and then we we, we, okay, loop, we loop, loop, we loop, we loop. Yep. Oh my god, man. Second. Okay. We have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. It. Yeah. Oh boy, I would go to the gate. Well, what I about the loot? The I would turn the uh, prop mod on too. I turn the afterburner on. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I would get myself out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. You went back for the loot again. Oh, yeah. No. Sorry. It's just a. This is the oh, gate, right? No. Okay, activate gate. Activate gate. Oh boy. He's gonna make a chat. I don't know. I'm I'm lagged behind by a good two seconds. So I don't know what's gonna happen. 10 seconds to go 10 clicks. The afterburner's on. That's good for him. Make sure you hit jump, 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 jump. Like spam the, the oh boy, this could be a problem. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no. Oh boy. Oh, You told oh. me to get the loot, man. Oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't say go back to the loot. Yeah, but that, that was me. But why, but. Oh, remember that story? I was like, man, the worst thing that could happen is be like, heading for the gate and get dying to greed. And is this a thing? I don't know, like Twitch chat. Is this normal? Does, does Guzu? Uh, always greedy. Okay, that answered my question. No, I'm Plastic Eve, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so now I'm Goblin back to the confirmed. capsule. Yeah, back to the pod. You're back in home. You can uh, travel back to Ren's and fit up that ship that we fitted earlier, or... Yeah. God damn. Okay, I want to... I want to try one more, man. Okay. So how do... Okay, so how do... in your search bar in the upper left-hand corner. We go for Ren's. So we click Ren's. Correct. Yep. And then we fact, go before you do that, before you search, there's another thing you can do. Go to your um right below inventory, there's a button called personal assets. Go there for me. Uh personal assets. That way we can set destination yeah. straight to the station. Okay. And oh, so we just do Perfect. here and then set right click and set destiny. Perfect. Oh, okay. So that's just easy clappers. And I'm gonna okay. undock. Yep. And then we're gonna go. See you undock. That's that's the first mini boss, and then now greed is the next mini boss. Okay, to be fair though, I, I could have made that, okay? I, I could it, yeah, I think it was lagging. Out. I think there was lag. Oh, it was lag, okay. There was some lag when I was trying to loot, because it didn't show up immediately. Right. God damn, man. Okay, what? God damn. Unbelievable. No, we'll, we'll win this next one here, man. I, I appreciate you wanting to help out and, uh, and and chill a little bit with this, by the way. Hopefully it's no taking, not taking up too much of your time with it, but... Well, it's not like you're just sitting out in space, not hitting the yellow button, and jumping or anything. Like, I'm sure you're. Oh, so yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going. <laughs> he thought I was gonna like autopilot him all the way there for Raven. Yeah, that's what he, That's what I assumed. <laughs> What the hell? So about that FPS game, yeah, is it like a, a thing they're doing as like a test, you said, like once in a while? Yeah, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday. So I guess a five-day test, four-day test, somewhere in that range. Uh, once per month, they do a, a long weekend test. Um, just like basically a stress test, try to break things, see what, see what bug reports they get, stuff like that. Okay. Um, they're, the official term is it's a, it's, a, it's a beta access through being subscribed to EVE. Um, my perspective is it's basically like a late alpha. We might be in beta, like official beta of this, or not official, we're, we're in official beta now, but like... Um, you, you, we gotta Critic jump, wise. Right? Yep, keep jumping. Just okay. keep on jumping. Jump, jump. Okay, um, I mean, that's cool. They just added a new feature this time around where while you're out and about looting and shooting, you'll find these rocks, you gotta blast to get materials to craft gear. Um, it's a little, it's a little Tarkov-y in that respect. You're, you're, it's an extraction shooter. Oh, so I like that, okay. You deploy okay. in, yeah, you deploy in. Uh, complete objectives, uh, get loot, and get out. Okay, that's cool. When does Savage come back? Uh, I'm not sure. Within and then days, the, the hook for EVE players is that supposedly, and we've seen some of it already, um, some of the map completion in Vanguard will interact with a system called Suppression and Corruption that affects EVE Online uh, systems. Which is, that's the big hook, is to have it all interconnected. Mm. 
Okay, so it like interacts with each other, I guess. It's like the same universe. Exactly. And you can get rewards from doing one thing and another, right? Exactly. Well, you don't get like you don't get Vanguard rewards for doing something in Eve. You don't get Eve rewards for doing something in Vanguard. They haven't shown any economic crossover yet, which doesn't mean it can't happen. They just haven't shown that yet, which I wouldn't expect that in Alpha Beta. But yeah, okay. We'll see what they do with it long term. This is Eve is a nice video. I don't know if we watched that. I'm not. I don't recall if we we watched that last time actually. Oh, it's like nine. Okay, I mean we can watch it a little bit later. I'm actually done for that Oculus. We're just doing some stuff here with the Rush Talk. Really nice that he wants to to help out and uh, and do some stuff with us as well. Targov stream when I don't think I ever played Targov, but I know kind of what it's about ish, right? Okay, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna get some gear. We're gonna try another dungeon. So, so are these called uh, this? This is the Abyssal dungeons, yeah? Yep, these are Abyssal sites. Uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're effectively dungeons. Uh, three rooms on a twenty-minute clock, and either you'll clear all three rooms, or the clock will expire, and we we see what happens when that happens. Okay. What about Mountain Blade? That's a cool game too, man. Okay, let me go here. Okay. Mm. Okay, trick, uh, jump. So I just keep jumping, I guess, until we're there. Oh, uh, you are a route two jumps. Yeah, I see up there. There's a little GPS, I guess. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Rush Hack is really cool. So do you have Malachite as a bits badge, or what is that? Is that a sub badge upgrade? Yeah, it's Malachite. It's like a bunch of the uh, World of Warcraft, I, um, I guess, uh, mats, I suppose. Right. It's like a little, uh, a little homage, I guess, to the WoW stuff. What, so what is like one of the big thing you can do in this game? Like, like big achievements? That kind of goes back to the whole, like... You have to approach Eve as a setting in a set of tools, right? So, uh -huh. what would what would Gugu, what would Emperor Guzu want to accomplish in Eve Online? Like, do you want to have a bunch of nerds in chat farming for you? You know, carrying out your every whim and, 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 and thought. Do you want to go out there and be an elite PvP? -er? Do you want to okay. go out there and like infiltrate some corporation and pretend to be their friend and betray them later? Do you, oh. you know, like you have to fill in the blank? Like, someone's like, kill I can't Titan. tell you what, what's, what you're. What, What's a Titan? No, a Titan is the largest ship in the game. Oh. Um, and uh, there's too many of them now, but you can imagine when they first came out. Like it was, you know, it's like anything in a game like this where something comes out in the new and shiny, everyone wants to chase it, kind of thing. Uh -huh. um, it's not like everyone has a Titan by any means. Probably somewhere in the, like maybe 10, 15 percent range of players actually have one. Um, mm. They're also also referred to as coffins because. Anything that size, you basically park a character and an account in, and then you, you can't get out of it. Like you have to leave it in there full time. So you have to be okay. Typically, a player that's running multiple accounts for that. For that to okay, work. okay, okay. Is that common? Just like multiple accounts? Oh yeah, absolutely. Multiboxing is All right. So again, I guess when I say common, I don't mean like everybody does it by any means, but it's it's probably in the I'd best make twenty five percent range. Like okay, one in four people probably run more than one account. The big tarp is, I got fell into this when I first started the game, like, I started mining. Because it's the most intuitive thing to do in the game. They give you a ship with a mining laser, yeah. you go out shoot some rocks, and you're like, alright, this is great. It's simple, I can understand it. Well, okay. eventually, you learn that the, the more time that you spend with your lasers running, the more efficient you are, so you want a second account to come out and pick uh... up the rocks for you. Uh-huh, exactly. And so, so you're, you're going to be sitting and mining on, on one account, and another account you're going to bring out all the mats. Yep, I'm like, hey chat, you guys should all bring your mining characters out here, I got a hauler, I'll haul your rocks for you. And they're like, all right, cool. That means we can just mine the whole time and just keep all our uptime up. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. From there. So you, so you can multi-box or you can network. In fact, if you think about it, 20 years ago, multi-boxing really wasn't an option, right? Because hardware wouldn't really let you do it, typically mm. speaking. But as hardware has advanced faster than software, now you can run 20 clients on one machine. And, uh, well, I mean, look at Twitch chat. How many of you in Twitch chat are absolute social deviants <laughs> and you'd rather run 10 accounts on your own than have to deal with nine other people? I, I, mean, I think, I think the overwhelming majority of Twitch chats will be like, "Oh, that's me. That's absolutely. I know. What he, I know what he's saying. That's so here they come. Yeah. See, I mean, we, we, don't, we don't play an MMO they, to play with other people. I guess, right? We just uh... now, exactly. I do. Like, I, I prefer to interact with people. So the oh. last two weeks, I've been going around, and whenever I see somebody in high sec, I convo them and I say, "Hey, this is a wellness check. How are you doing today?" And oh. I'd say two thirds of them either ignore it or block it immediately. So I blow up their ship. Oh, and then I send them uh, a, 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 an email in game. Letting them know, know that they're either a bot or a hateful, and then you fill in the blank with whatever, you know, foul word you want to put in there. Okay. I tell them that it's been on their permanent record 
And if they want to appeal that permanent record, they have to come to the stream and say hello and repent for their social deviism. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of confessions in Twitch chat right now. There was arrows pointing out their own names and me's, 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 you know. Why would I want to talk to other people in an MMO? Exactly. Like, they're, they're, they're all the way out there. So you, oh, I yeah. find them in-game. But then that one in three, though, they're like, oh, you know, I'm working on this today. I'm working on that today. And they're like, oh, cool. You know, what do you, what's your overall goal in the evening? They tell me they have some kind of goal they're working toward. I'm like, it's awesome. And we'll shoot them some misc, tell them, that they're, you know, they're doing a great job and have a great day. And oh. we'll move on to the, the next dirt bag that we find that's out there. Oh. Just being okay. a, a hateful fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. So we're in the hangar again. <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do with the echo here? <laughs> so now you're back in Renz. Um, in your ship hangar, you have another Kestrel. Yes, Kestrel. That's the one we, we bought per, like just now. Yep. And you're gonna double click Wait, it to get oh, into it. Oh, oh sorry, it's based off. Uh, yeah, double click Good. it. That's what I'm doing. Yep, yeah, double click it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then in the bottom right hand corner, actually no, it's our conversation, our conversation has the simulated Kestrel fitting. You can bring that up and you can hit the fit button and uh, just hit the fit button and you'll be good to go. Uh, our conversation. There'll probably be a pop up, but we can ignore it. Yep, we have our conversation uh, hold on, somewhere. Hold on. I remember what did we learn earlier? Control something, control tab? Uh, yeah, yeah control tab. Which one? Yeah. The fleet, 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 and then private chat, and then we got the fitting. Private chat, I think private chat yeah. is the right one. Uh, buy, right? Uh, nope, we already bought it. We already bought oh, it earlier. We, yeah, button. we bought it. We fit it. Oh boy, he's he's. Oh ah, boy, here he that. goes again. Okay, hit the fit button. Okay. Hit it. Then we fit the rigs. We'll see if there's any pop up. I want to see what. Oh, pops dark up. filament can uh, be fitted. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me that again. Yes, you're good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy six tranquil dark filaments. We're gonna buy those. So buy all. Oh, hit it close. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Go. Oh, hit fit. Okay. Hey, buy, hey, you, you figured it out. Hit fit again. Perfect. Well done. And buy and there fit, you go. right? And we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy and then fit again. Yep. Oh, buy shit. and fit. Perfect. That was a bit much. Um, oh. I think you bought. I think I think you bought everything. But well, it's I mean, fine. I, we'll I, got a, I got a lot of money. It's fine. Let's. Yeah, exactly. You're rich. Let's go to the top yeah. button there where it says Dune Dark Runes Kestrel. I want to look inside your ship to see if you have those dark filaments on board and misses. Okay. How do I do that? Uh, inventory window. Uh, top section. Uh, right above Shippinger. Right above the word Shippinger. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Um. <clears throat> Hello? Are we good? It looks yeah. like we're good. Yeah, you got yeah. missiles, you got dark filaments. We're awesome. This is fantastic. So you can minimize or close this crap and then yeah, beat yeah, the yeah. first mini boss. Uh, yeah. Undock? Yep. Are we ready already? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're ready. It's really easy to get back into a ship once you have this whole... Oh, shit. Out. That, that, that was cancel, really fast. If you cancel the undock, you can also set your home to the station. That next time when you blow up, you'll just you'll just spawn here. Oh, yeah, I want to do, do that. I want to do that. Let me dock okay, again. Okay, just dock back in the station. Dock back in the station. Docking, docking. Okay, lots of docking. It'll take a few a few tries because the game's confused. Like, oh my god, he just undocked. Why is he going back in? You got to wait three seconds and he'll get angry and you'll just wait yeah, three yeah. seconds to go back in. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to redock here and then we're going to be... Uh, Putting the home yeah. here, so now we just spawn here every time or what? Exactly, it's like your hearthstone. So, so is this like the the capital? Docking permission required. Of Docking of Mimitar space, space, yes. Okay. So when you did your character creation, there were four empires, and you picked Mimitar, and of the Mimitar Empire or whatever you want to call it, uh, Federation, Republic, River Republic, yeah. Uh, this is their capital. Okay. So in the upper left hand corner, there's Rens 0.9, and then just below that it'll say Rens 6 dash Moon 8 Ruder Tribe Treasury. I want you to yeah. right click on that. And, and it should be an option to set your home station. Set home station. Yeah, got it. That's what you want to do. Okay, so now if I ever die again, I'm going to just spawn here. Well, there's no if. Like, So when you die again... No, if I die again. Uh, we'll see. All right, yeah, undock. First mini boss. But yeah, you, you'll you'll wake up here, and then you'll, be, you'll get right back in the next ship and okay. back out in the space. Uh, I think we had to jump one time, right? We had to go, like, to Abu, Abu something. Yeah, Chat we went to Abu, whatever. I think, and then uh, we were, Yeah, like... just jump into Abu, then you can use your filament at your bookmark. Uh, yeah, Abu, 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 Abu. Uh, going to Abu real fast. Just real fast going to Abu here. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we're gonna jump. Warp drive active. Yeah. And we wanna do, do we wanna do the L? Or the thing? Uh, yeah, it's already open, so just leave it open. And uh, when we button? jump in the next system, the bookmark will be there for you. It's, it saved it from last time. Oh, you shoot, okay. Time. Okay, okay. Now I'm starting to understand what's going on, Uber. That, that's it. Load your ammo. Oh, I gotta load my ammo as well, true and real. Wait, how do I load it? Yeah, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna group your missiles. So, 
to the left of your missiles, there's a small little button. We want you to click that. Ah, on group, yeah, group, group, group. Yeah. Okay. Once they're grouped up, you'll right-click and load. Yep. Hit the ammo, and you're good to go. You'll have to do it again after you jump the gate and warp to your bookmark, but it'll be fine. Oh, because I'm gloaked. Okay, I'm gloaked. Yep, yep. Okay. Last time I played, I killed a swiper at a gate camp and ninja looted a shield booster and sold it for two billion isk. Oh, okay. So it's, it, it, I get. So there's swipers in this game too. You can like just purchase stuff. Oh yeah. So what you can do is you can swipe your credit card to buy premium currency, which is Plex, and then you sell the Plex on the player market to get isk, which is the freemium currency. Ah. Then you can trade the premium currency to other players in the open market. That's how you bought your ship. So the ship you're flying, the ammo you're using, the modules on your ship came from other players. Yes. Also, oh, it's like an auction house. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, remember, remember, you're sitting out in space. You gotta go to that L. You gotta go to that uh, bottom bookmark, the bottom spot. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I gotta go L, and I gotta go to go warp, 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 warp. Yep, yep. While you're on the way there, you can reload your missiles. Okay, so how do I do that? I right click and then I click the thing, right? Yep, yep. Oh, okay, tight. Even if I remember spending four hours to travel to some faction I joined, they gave me a bunch of relevant ships and stuff to equip. Now, I always forget about this because this is not my oh. thing being two for MMOs, but. Um, we need to find the the fitting window again. So. Oh, mamma mia. Yeah, it's the. Um, I'll give the hot. I got it. it. There is, it is there. You got it? Okay, cool. Now, there's a tab called personalization. I want to look at the personalization real tab, tab real quick. Oh, you found the fitting window. Perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, fitting and then personalization. Yes, I got it. Left hand corner. Sorry, yeah. And then, no, you're good. My stream's just buffered, so I have to wait to catch up. So it's, oh, oh, this is like I'm, transmog, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, some, some oh. chat would appreciate it looking pretty. So what you do is you click these, just by simply selecting them, it'll show you in this oh. window what it'll look like. And if we have any Fortnite kids in chat, they remember what was the insult? You call someone default because they have the default skin oh, on. They got right now, Guzu is default, exactly. And so you start clicking through and you find like, oh, this skin's amazing. This is the one I want to use from now on. Okay. Uh, one of my favorites is the Zakura, the second to last one. But Second to last it's, one. It's anything, it's anything aesthetic. It's, you know, it's all... Personal oh, preference and okay. subjective. And... So you, you click buy. So yeah, so if you click the buy button there, um, you'd probably have done that from from Renz because Renz is the main market. There are yep. none available where we you know, right where we are right now. Also oh, it has but... to be people that are selling them or what? Exactly, yeah. You gotta buy them from um, other players. The exception would be go back to the list of skins. And you'll see that buy button looks different on some skins. Yeah, so steel cardinal. Up. There's a there's yeah, so that one. I oh. think if you hit the buy button, we'll take you to the cash shop, and I think you can buy it from the cash shop. I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This is the New Eden store. Yeah, and so I, you can I, use that Plex we talked about before to buy it straight from CCP. I mean, let's just test it out. Why not? I, I have some Plex. That's true. So you could you could uh, buy it now. There's also gift this item, which man, any MMO that has gifting. Oh. Let me do a quick test. We have a thousand people here. Did anybody in Twitch chat ever play a game called Marvel Heroes? It was basically Diablo two, but with I like a I Marvel comic that. skin, and they were one of the first MMOs I played that had. Uh, um, a gifting service, and it was absolutely insane, especially as a, a pampered e boy. Like, I think I so much of that stuff that, actually. Game. Yeah, David Brevik from uh, Diablo days before Diablo sucked. Um, oh, I think I bought, I think I bought it. I think you did too, but now your stream's buffering on my side, so I'm oh, okay, okay, having all kinds of okay, there we go. Yeah, you bought it, but you have to apply it, which I don't know. Can you, can you, you think you can? Oh, I might have to dock have to for that. Yeah, something like that. There might be have like some kind of go to your personal assets again, right below your inventory, and uh, we should yeah. be able to remotely um, redeem it and apply it at the same time. So okay, dude, this is so confusing. Oh my gosh, Tinguzo, I'm playing with Tesla's boot back in and see who controls that section right, of the galaxy. So where does the skin I go? Get that. Be one of those two stations if you bought it, and the stream was all fucked up for me. So oh, you need know. to redeem it from God. redeemables. They say. Yeah, which is fine. Oh, oh, yeah. So bottom left-hand corner, there's the NES, and then above oh, that is Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. And, yeah. You can work Redeemed the problem. to that. home station. Ah. Which is fine, which is fine, because then we can go back to the personal assets, and we can get it from there, and we can uh, redeem it and apply it remotely. Okay, 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 okay. So can we there. whale in this game, spend real-life money to get stuff? Uh, no, you can, you can whale to get currency, and then you can buy stuff that you don't know how to use, and then lose it. So, like... Eve is very pay to lose. <laughs> you can you can definitely wail. You You're can really pay. selling this game, huh? <laughs> it's great. Like you just have to have the right mindset to to appreciate it. Like <laughs> that's true. If you don't, then I mean nothing lasts forever, I guess. 
yeah, it's all pixels. Like, you're going to lose your ship. But yeah. when you buy a skin, so the skin you just bought is permanent for this Kestrel. So you oh. could lose a thousand of these Kestrels, and you always have the skin. The skin doesn't Oh, ah, okay, that's kind of dank. Okay, I don't know where I see it, though. I guess it must be in my thing. Uh, so, oh, sorry, did you redeem it? Uh, yeah, I, uh, did, I did. Okay, if you did, then it should be in uh, Rens, which is your home station. So let's open up that Rens tab. Oh, and then here, it, permanence can activate license. Yeah, perfect, exactly. Okay. Uh, now what? I, 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 oh, there was a pop-up, but up, I just said yes. You, you did one for a cyclone. You're, you're smashing buttons, okay. That's Sorry. Awesome. Yeah. So I see one actually says Kestrel Steel Guard. We have to use our words, remember. We gotta use yeah. we gotta use our reading words. Oh, yeah, God. reading. Sorry. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's a yeah. So, the, so. Oh. Oh. No, that's there. That, that was the one, right? I I still see Kestrel on my screen. So maybe you got there. Maybe you haven't yet. I don't know. On my side, you keep slamming everything except the Kestrel. Oh, I, don't think you're reading I see again. it. Yeah, I see it. I see it. There we go. Whoa. It's fine. Like, there's there's no shame in having learned learning this abilities chat. So, yeah, yeah. Guzu may have one. I don't know about it. So, obviously, it's you know he made it here, guys. So this should be inspirational to all of you. Like, look, my ship looks different now. That's cool. It does. Now you're yeah. Now you're all you're all dressed up. Holy. Okay. Okay. Wait. Hold. Damn. We're looking fancy now. Well, how do I open that again? General. There you go. Uh, okay, so okay, so oh, now we're gonna open no, up. Oh no, you closed your overview again. Yeah, I just wanted to look at my ship. I don't know how to like but turn you know, off now, the now UI. Get, now you know how to get back. So yeah, now now you're unstoppable. That's right. How can I turn off my UI? Oh, there is a hotkey for that. Let's see. Hmm, is it Control F9? It is Control F9. That is a weird. Okay. Oh yeah, so I can look. Oh. We're looking kind of. Now just hot. make sure that Twitch chat spams Control F9 because you have to toggle that back when you want it back and you'll forget. And... Yeah, it looks Can't sick though. Overview. I think it it's does. so pretty this game. It it really is. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh so okay, we're gonna do another pistol. So how do we do that? So we gotta okay. go to inventory and yep. then triangle inventory. dark. Yep, yep. Double click it and then frigates, three frigates, activate for fleet, deploying yep, that. Yep. Okay, and now we're going here. Uh and now we're gonna be activating the gate, activate it, and then we're going in. You got it. Hey, I'm learning. So I, I feel like it's slowly coming back, like riding a bicycle. Like I, because I do remember we played and we did this before, and it's slowly returning to me. And last time we did this, I, I was with you. Like this is the first time you've done it by yourself. So y yes. So now we have hips, so like one of those ships. Fly at them or orbit them rather, and then uh, turn on your hardener. Now your hardener and your repper are in different spots this time. So you. Oh you can yeah, I see that. I, I was like uh, I was clicking it by like muscle memory. Yep. Okay, so now they're like 20 kilometers away, so I can activate my missiles, right? Is it always 20 kilometers? No, if you put your mouse cursor over your missiles, you'll see it says uh, 21. So I was just using 20 as a, as a good rule of thumb. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I am destroying oh, this Different guy. missiles, different skills, different launch, like all things you can change to it that will that will affect your, your range, effective range. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So now we've got two of these, and I'm kind of just blasting yep. both of them, I guess. Yep, go ahead what and target them both. Yep, you did. Oh, that's a flak tower. So that flak tower will actually destroy your missiles before they get to the target sometimes. So you want to get them away from that thing. Also, it does damage to the NPCs and you, so like everyone's taking damage. Oh my god, I am dying. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. I, I, was, I turned out the oh, UI because no. it looked pretty. Oh man, this is going to be awkward. Okay, this is fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Because now we're going to do this guy, we orbit him. Turn off Let's my... See, uh... I guess have my shield on actually. Oh, Virtunaut says, well done, showing the new bros the Abyss on day one, this is the way. I, so Abyss is kind of like some of the newer content, like, there's nothing wrong with new players getting into mission running, but like, you're going to hit a finite wall with missions where you, you will just have done it all, where the same thing happens with Abyssal, to be honest, but it's, it's, it's a little more randomized, so you get, a, you get a fresher feel for it for a longer period of time. Oh, so I, master your missions. Go ahead. so I should not be doing this as like my, the first thing or what? Is that what you're saying? Oh, no, no. So... Nothing in the well, I've been I've been talking about this for the last week, so it's good timing. Um, okay. Nothing in Eve is intuitive other than mining and mission running. The end. Like okay. everything about the the tutorial and the air career program, like everything that's on the rails, uh, or is like scripted, 
steers you towards shooting rocks or doing missions for NPCs, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with those, those activities. The okay. issue comes in when people get stuck doing those activities because they don't know anything else exists. So yeah. how did you find out about abyssals? I had to tell you about them because nothing in the game tells you about abyssals. Like, or at least nothing nothing strongly enough steers you toward them to, to actually get you to interact with them. Yeah, like you would I, not have naturally end up in abyssals on your own. I, I think my problem with, with the game, in a way, is that it's very, very difficult to know what to do. Because there's so many yeah. options, and you don't know, you just don't know what to do. So, what I think is the best thing for them to do, the meaning CCP, oh, is imagine there was a platform where people could go watch people play the game and see different types of content being done. Like, uh, hey, there's a guy over there doing wormhole stuff, there's a guy over there doing PvP stuff, there's a guy over here doing mining stuff, whatever. Like, hmm. imagine a platform like that existed and CCP leveraged that platform to promote their product. Imagine if we lived in a world where that was possible. So I've been streaming this game for 10 years and like their partner program came up like two or three years ago. Uh, they've been doing sponsored streams for the last probably two-ish, maybe three-ish years now. Um, and kicking and screaming, we are we are dragging, dragging the company onto platforms like this. Like, hey, hey, look at this advertising, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, some people are getting a good deal on this. They're getting paid to show this stuff off. Whereas, you know, they've got a lot of people who do it for free. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, free from the company's perspective, right? Yeah. Like, okay. Oh, I think I'm kind. Of, why would I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure this out? Actually, I'm learning it. I'm learning combat, and like how to like navigate. I can probably do that a lot faster, though. I feel like. Yeah, it, also, it comes with muscle memory. The more rooms you do, the more, like, like this is the first time you faced off against this in PC. So obviously, you have to target it. You yeah. can't do damage to it unless you target it. Oh, true, true, true. Oh, it's fine because your missiles were reloading. Oh, your missiles aren't reloading. You're just you're trying to fire without targeting. Okay. Yeah, because uh, uh, so one guy in chat told me I could like control click on the thing he over in my overview to like target it. Control F click. Yep, and it'll target it. Oh, control F. Work. Uh, no, control left. Oh, uh, left, left click. click okay. Your left hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, you should probably rep. You're dying again. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, my space down. My bad. I'm just looking at it. It just looks nice. So I'm just, I'm just kind of like not paying attention. <laughs> You know? Look at these pretty lights and, and yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You'll get ganged by people like that trying to ruin other people's fun. Yeah, people tell me to go to a wormhole. Yeah, we did that. We were in the wormhole earlier. It was yeah, like we got, that, we got shut like down within one minute. Yeah. I went into a wormhole and one guy just killed me. Unbelievable. Okay, so we're, we're just going around this guy. This guy seems to be a little bit more tanky than the other guy, though. Okay. So we have this. We have a timer. We're looking pretty good on time, I would say. Let's Overall, see. is not. This too is bad. room two. Yeah, you're doing great on time. Yeah, we're looking really nice here. Okay, not bad, chat. Okay, I'm getting a hang of it now. Now, I, a big barrier we have going on right now. We'll talk about it after the site. Is you don't have any skills training. So the the button right below your portrait on the left hand side uh, manages like your skills improving. And so you want things like that always running. That way, your next session, your next session, your next session are always always uh, better than the one you had previously. Obviously, that's you know less impactful for you, but like under so normal it, conditions, like that'd be a big deal. Is that like Farmville on, on, on Facebook when you put like your crops to like uh, work for you while you were not playing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, your your skill timer is running whether you're logged in or not. Okay, so you so want to like always have like something like cooking, basically. Exactly. Okay. Okay, I'm slowly getting through his uh, armor though as well, which is nice. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's be great to find out. So this thing is not armor tank. That's good. That was my first. That was the first uh, time I saw the armor volley there. Okay. As long as it doesn't like rep before your next volley hits, that means it was shield tank. So now you're just trying to chew through it. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, so we're doing really, really good here. Probably, probably three to four volleys to get through the armor. We'll see what the structure looks like. Okay. And your first room was so fast, like you made up a lot of time there. So like, it, whenever people are doing PvP, I assume they don't just like orbit like this and shoot. I, I think there's like a lot of min-maxing going into it, right? Like so missile or missiles, uh, weapon platform matters. Um, you're using missiles, so really you do just orbit and fire and forget. But you're managing the range. Like you're, you decided to orbit at 10. Um, yep. You could orbit at 15 if you wanted to, probably, and, and it would still be applying damage. And maybe they, maybe they would deal less damage. And uh, you can always play with things like that to kind of like experiment with it. Uh, guns, whether it's so let's say it's artillery weapons, you want long range and you want to be flying in straight lines a lot more. Uh, auto cannons, you want to be orbiting your target very close and you want to be moving very very fast. Uh, drones, which you deploy and, and they kind of fight for you, you want to like slow the target down 
kind of web them down so your drones can do a lot of damage to them. Okay. And you want to go really fast. Uh, which also lasers. Uh, Amarian weapons use laser weapons. I don't know anything about them, but I think they function kind of like uh, our artillery guns do, where um, basically you want to be at whatever range you can dictate um, and move faster than the enemy can hit you. Or yeah. your, your tank skills, you know, like you can go back to the skills thing, you train your skills up for tanking so well that the, the incoming damage is, is less relevant to you. Okay, so is it kind of like a rock, paper, scissor, like with like this ship beats that ship? A little ship? bit, yeah. There, there's okay. definitely some elements of paper, yeah. Like certain things counter different, different types of things. When we get to the next room, as we DPS it, we'll, we'll right click on the target and okay. show info, and we'll talk about there's a window in there that shows you what kind of tank they have, like what kind of damage they're dealing, what kind of tam damage they're tanking against, and, and little, like little stats like that. That way, when people do want to min max, they can have access to that information as it, inter as it interests them. Okay. Remember that three year old? I, I can't look at links right now, uh, Imano. And yes, this is a Kestrel. That's what I was asking over there. Okay, so I loot the cargo, and then we go to the warp gate, approach. Activate gate, and then it, it should just do it when you get there, right? Max your graphics? Yep. I think I have max yeah, graphics. As long as you jump, it'll, it'll do when you get there. High? Can we go even higher than high? There could be an ultra. I don't know how to go higher than this, man. Ultra? Isn't there it just could like be. A... I, don't, I don't know which settings have ultra. Uh, okay, it's fine. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, so now we are Lucid Escort. We're gonna orbit that bad boy. We're gonna target him. Oh, so you have to be within 55 kilometers to target, I guess. Yep, see so his orbit. You turn the prop mod on. It's already on. Good, good. Yo, easy Toby. Thank you for the 14 uh, then months. You that, yep, you target it. Perfect. Then wait till you're within 20, and then you'll activate the missiles. Is it this you you'll said? You'll start babysitting your tank. Show info, right? Yep. Then go to the attributes. attributes. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. There's all the stat information for the rats, so if someone really wanted to math it out and figure out the good stuff, remember to manage your tank as well so you don't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manage uh, again. This, this thing has no resist on its shields, no resist on its structure, but it has 50% resist, which is effectively 50% damage reduction on um, its armor for all types of damage. And then it deals, at the top there we see damage, it deals electrical and thermal damage with a little bit of kinetic and explosive damage. Okay. The first one is EM for electromagnetic, the second one is thermal, uh, kinetic, and then explosive. And so its damage is what we call omni damage, meaning it does a little bit of all types of damage, but it's primarily uh, EM and thermal. So okay. if you came in here fit with a little extra resist for specifically EM and thermal, then this rat would be less of a threat to you. Uh, but there's no reason to say the next room wouldn't have a different composition. You know yeah, I mean? okay. So, so but you can you like, see what the threat star is, or I guess. Right. Like inspecting. Uh, can you ask Rushlog if you still need to pay ISK to take out ships of the asset safety? You do. You, yes, you do. So what happens is people take breaks from EVE and they do what I call plan poorly. Or, to be fair, sometimes life just kicks you in the butt and you, you, have, you, don't, you don't get to log into a game for a while. So in either of those cases, your stuff is out in a station somewhere and let's say you get kicked out of that corporation that owns the station, you finally come back to the game and all your stuff is gone. It isn't really gone, it doesn't stop existing, it just got impounded. Um, by the NPC okay. police, so they put it in bound. That's called asset safety. You've got to pay like a one third. Don't quote me on the numbers. I don't know what they are, but you got to oh pay a pretty hefty so cool. uh, value, market value of the goods to get them out of impound. This is a short version. Oh. Okay. So you want to just look at the game, man? Got them. Yeah. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah. So this was like the first run of them uh, changing the tech for the graphics and and. You can see how it just, it just paid off really well. Yeah, it looks really nice. Definitely looks really, really nice. Oh, what, what, there's a button. There, there's something. Oh shit, I'm dying. Yeah, that's what happens when you take a lot of damage. You don't run that repper. You get yeah, that's true. Mesmerized that's true. by the visuals and. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. fine. You didn't take. Yeah, you didn't take any extra armor damage. That was fine. Perfectly timed pro gamer move. Yeah, I'm just, no you extra know, armor damage done. Making sure the, the visuals are great for the stream as well. You know. Yeah. This game is missing some Ahmed Masson. Do, 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 do. It's really cool though. Okay. You can see the armor damage, your armor's melding off. Yeah, it's taking That's a lot of damage. old armor damage, sir. That's old, old armor damage. Oh. This guy really has a lot of health though. He does. Okay, he so is a frigate. So his health probably isn't super high, it's more... Oh, it's because he only has two types of... Uh, yeah, he has yeah, armor he doesn't structure. Have, uh, okay. For that, that HP value is probably shifted into the shields if I had to guess. So as soon as those shields crack, he's probably going to fold like paper. 
Okay, okay. So the ads about this game are real? Yeah, I mean, I would assume so. Yeah, so now he's gonna take big damage, right? Oh, so I can use my afterburner to make it more difficult to hit me, but wouldn't that make me Correct. make it more difficult to me for me to hit him as well? Because the velocity if goes If you were using ways. guns, yes, but because you're using missiles, no. Oh, because missiles that's just log word. on or what? Yeah, like angular and transversal velocity, that's where all this comes into play, where missiles care about speed and uh, distance traveled. Generally speaking, like there's, there's more to it, but like I'm trying to oversimplify it for as much as possible to make it digestible. Turrets have to track missiles to not. Okay. So it's worth for me to do afterburner if there's like a... Like a turret. Yeah, I would leave your afterburner on personally. Yeah, I would just leave it on because it's just gonna... It's gonna reduce the damage you have coming in, basically. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And it's one less thing you have to have micromanaged because like as soon as this thing dies, we're gonna wanna burn straight to the loot can, burn straight to the gauge, yada yada. Because the missile do know where its target is no matter what. Exactly, yeah. Missiles are going to apply damage. The variable is how much damage they're going to apply. Okay. And it also assumes that they're in range. So if in range, missile always applies damage, how much damage is impacted by variables, which are speed and velocity. Okay. Missiles have to apply to dual bottleneck calculation between your target speed and signature radius. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Signature radius is a good one to talk about, too. Um, generally speaking, the bigger the ship, okay. the bigger the sig radius. But there are, are things, modules, that you can fit that... Uh, both increase and decrease your, your SIG radius. Your ship's SIG radius is what we call bloom. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good way to, like, non eve wide to explain it. Imagine uh, you were, like, you pressed your, your butt to the window and mooned the enemy ship. That would be blooming your SIG. You're making yourself more of a target. That's okay, the, so you're taunting the, him. Exactly. So, blue, so SIG radius is basically how easy is it to hit you. And so when you're you're making yourself easier to hit. Yeah. That's how that's how that works out. Okay. Can you Maybe. dodge missiles? You can pull range, but you can't dodge them. But you can pull range on them. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. And so <laughs> You also you also encountered a moment ago the good timing of a reload, like, oh man, the target's about to die. Ah, oh, I'm on reload, so we're gonna wrap up a little bit while I wait for my reload. Also I, I could like hold on with a... okay, 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 okay. I think he's gonna die now, though. Maybe if that hits. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go loot. Yep. Go burn right at the loot can. Okay, get within we're... twenty. Blap it. Loot it, and then go to the gate. Okay. I mean, easy clap. Eve mi missile mechanics is where somebody will be your best friend to learn mechanics. You you actually have to study like missile mechanics. Well, obviously not. You're getting through it just fine. It's, it's like if you wanted to go further with it, right? If you wanted to go into super deep, high level, high tier, high risk, high reward. That kind of a thing, then it would pay off to do so. But for yeah, doing okay. the entry level, you know, newbie stuff, like, no, of course not. Okay. That's the thing about Eve is like most skills in the game have five levels, and therefore you're gonna train level three in anything. There's no reason to go level four, level five, uh, more often than not, unless it's gonna be something you're gonna specialize in. So yeah, okay. Why get your four year degree in uh, tier six, or tier five missile abyssal running when it isn't something you're gonna be spending a majority of your time doing? Yeah, I, I guess I, you, you could specialize on something and then work with that. Okay, so this, mm -hmm. this is the end of the Abyssal, right? Yeah, once you get the gate, you'll have escaped safely. As long as you get out before the clock ticks down. Okay, 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 okay. So this is just like dungeons you can do. I guess you can do really, really high ranks. And it's like you, you kind of put in a keystone to like make it more difficult, I suppose, right? That's what the filament is, exactly. The filament is your keystone. You pop it to do your mythic run or your dungeon run. Um, the calms are zero, the tranquils are one, and they go on from there. Uh, oh, yes, and like, remember, for the frigates, the frigates are all balanced for three players. So when you're in here solo, like you're you're pulling off what they designed for three people to be working together on. Okay, so I'm basically popping off. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Somebody uh, said they wanted to show you contracts on the bottom right hand corner where your notifications are. Uh, there'll be something like contract needs your attention. They wanted okay. to send you some uh, destroyers to run a different type of, of abyssal. What we don't know yet ahead though is if you can actually use the ships. We'll find out. There's a contract needs your attention. It was a second button down. There you okay. Go. Okay. Are we there? Oh, there. I gotta wait. You gotta go down one from my side, from what I'm seeing. Yeah, the contract. Korax. Yeah, hit the contract. Yep. So I want to send you this. It's wait. So, so what range. is this? Is this like a like a quest a player oh. give me or what? No, no, no. This is my sending you a ship that's one rank higher than what you're currently using. Um, you're in a frigate right now. They're sending you a destroyer. Uh, the destroyer is, is one rank up. We won't know if you can use it until we accept it and then go back to the station and get into it. Um, 
and we'll sit in it and look at the fit and see if there's anything you can't use. But but at a glance, it seems like it's fine. Okay, so I'm accepting a, a, a contract. Yep, you're accepting a contract. They're getting nothing, and you're getting two ships. Well, how is that good for them? It isn't. They well, they want to see you fly a destroyer. That's what oh, that, that's okay. So it's like it's like another. It's like someone from chat that probably did it, right? Right. Like I probably passed you your kestrels however long we did the last ones, and now someone's passing you some desis because they want to give you the option. But if you want to, you can you can go up. So it's um, Benny's. So yeah. destroyers are scaled for two. So you could you can still do the the calm T zero one that you just did, but the destroyer version is scaled for two people. And this time you'll fly a destroyer, which will be faster damage wise. It'll be a little slower speed wise, but not much. But you'll have a lot more damage. You'll have like okay. almost triple the DPS. So I I gotta go to Rens, right? Uh, yeah. So if you go to your personal assets, you can uh, right click Rens, whatever six eight where we were at, and. Uh, go back to that station. You can uh, do it from this side too, but if you want to find that station specifically, you want to go to your personal assets, which is right below your inventory. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Personal assets, and then Rens, and then uh, jump through Stargate. Uh, just Travel set destination. Yeah, you right click that set destination. Oh god, you hit jump through, which is fine. But you need to set destination. Okay. We're gonna get there. Oh, and then there I just go. like jump. Okay, okay, okay. That makes it all yellow, and that way you know where you're yeah, going. Yeah, like, I just know what to click. Okay. Yep, yep. Wait, so so E players are really nice, because he just gave me some some, some stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, shit, okay. Maybe this game isn't so bad after all, huh? <laughs> That's not bad. Oh, no, Guzu, we're not. There's a lot about Eve that requires, like... Um, personal responsibility or initiative or you know whatever like if you're it's not that it's what you have to self-teach you have to have a, just enough motivation to look for the information the information's out there and okay. you know I'm, I'm only on on air three to four hours in the morning i'm not getting everybody but during that block of time i can i can get people pointing towards towards uh materials but i can't i can't make people go look for them right and i can't make ccp send all their new bros to twitch yeah like i don't expect ccp to send all their new bros to my channel but I expect CSP to send all their new bros to Twitch and they don't do it. Like, mm. they'll, nice they'll bring you just to EVE Online, but they won't send their new players to their own product's Twitch directory to get them educated, so... It's, Sick there's a lot of people out there need help, it's just a matter of getting it to them. But you can see how, like, once you have two, three, maybe even at most five things explained to you, it really just opens everything up. Like, I feel like, I feel like in these kind of games, how I understand it is like you, you kind of just learn one thing to do and you just do that one thing and then you learn another thing and you do that one more thing and then you can do two things yep. and you add another yep. thing and then you work with that, right? Yep. The worst thing that happens is when people get stuck doing one thing, they master it and they, they feel like now the game's over. Yeah, and it's like, well, no, just, just find another thing that you enjoy. Like, like now I'm learning don't... to do Abyssal Dungeon, so like I'm, I don't really know how to do it yet, but I'm like, I'm getting there, right? Right, once I exactly. know that, then I can work on another thing, I suppose. Yep. Okay, so what do so we do? So from here, you're going to go to your inventory. Okay. And this is all the stuff that we got up on. Uh, then your ship hanger. Okay. Oh, that's the Corax. Yeah, that's the one. Correct. Buy and uh, train. I presume the person sent it to you pre-fitted, but I want to find out when we get there. Uh, well, they didn't. Okay, it's just fine. We can work around that. So double-click it. It'll assemble one of them, and then double-click the one you assemble. Oh, wait, so we need a skill. Uh, buy and train. This is fine. We're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So buy and train? Yeah, buy and train. Buy and inject. Uh, it's basically just a skill book. Uh, I always like catch up on, on the other side. Buy and train. Uh, buy and inject. Now, checking on market is more efficient, isk-wise, but we're space rich. We don't care. We're not... Oh. Peasants would click the click on check on market <laughs> button, but okay. space e-boys will click the um, oh, okay. buy so, and yeah. inject. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean, don't trust any of them? They know you're classic Andy. They won't survive a space battle. I'm going to survive it, man. Don't worry about it. So what do we do now? Strip fitting or no? <laughs> uh, we need to train this actual skill. Um, go to your skill window. Which actually, I think it's training right now. I think that's what it did. Inject into your skill queue. Right below your portrait in the upper left-hand corner, there's a white circle now. They used to be orange. We're going to click that. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit the... Oh, cool. Yeah, we're going to... Oh, wow. Wow. Hit the pause button for me. There's a pause and a play button bottom right-hand corner. Hit uh, yeah. pause. And like then downloading. The, okay. Yeah. Uh, so eight hours, almost nine hours of skill training has been queued up on your account when we did that inject earlier. Ooh. But I want you to go right, uh, right click on Kaldari Frigate Two for me. Uh, and then inject points. Oh, two and then inject points. Two, not three. Two. Yeah. Kaldari Frigate Two. Right click and then you're gonna 
apply points and wait for it to pop up so I can. Okay, so I side. need skill points for that. Yep, you have them. You have 29,000 unallocated. I'll get us. Yep, hit okay. Okay, so this is like, you can speed it up, I guess. Yeah, exactly. We're going to instant uh, claim it. We're going to instant do it. Cool. Do the same thing again for Galdor Frigate 3. Okay, so do how, do, how do I acquire skill points? Uh, passively over time. Uh, the unallocated ones we're spending right now, you get from login rewards or uh, um, you can buy something from the market called a skill injector. I just got 30 uh, million isk. Hmm? I just got 30 million isk. Yeah, someone sent you 30 mil. Someone, oh. someone is just hooking you up. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, okay. Well, th thank you, whoever did... Who, I don't know how I can see who did that, but... A player uh, donation. So on the left-hand side, there's a Z button. Z as in Z. Yeah. Click that, will open up your wallet. And you can put your mouse cursor over it. It says, Peter Keown, money from a follower, love something. And then you saw the rest of the message. So. Oh. oh, shoot, okay. Peter Keown, love man. Your content. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, so you can close out of there. Go okay, back okay. to now. It says Caldari Destroyer One. And I apply you're skill right points, right? And apply skill points to train that one. Okay. And then you'll be able to use the ship that was sent to you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, so, so now I can use the ship. So you need like certain skill points to use the ships, I suppose. Yep, exactly. Now okay, in the like same the window before we chat. close it out, go to your skill catalog, top center of. Oh boy. Yeah, got it. Got it. Oh got it. I'm there. In the, yep. Okay. <laughs> I always like catch up on my side. Okay, it's a like skill catalog, perfect. And then on the center, top dead center, it'll say search. In that search, I want you to type the word destroyer, please. Uh, Ron guy, I see the contract notification. Give me a moment. We'll we'll get there as soon as we can. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so from here, you're going to see that you've already trained Kaldari destroyer. Uh, right click on it and see if you can uh, apply points again to make level two possible. Uh, I can, yes. Hmm. Do that, please. Sorry, I was getting some water. Yeah, do that for me. Perfect, perfect, good, good. Okay, so what, what, what does that do? Does it levels up the ship or what? Yep, I'll show you exactly what it's going to do. So close this window for the skills. And we're going to we're gonna go over exactly what that did. Okay. This is something I had a viewer who, uh, who didn't know how this worked for years, or at least most of a year. Um, okay. On the far right side of these ships, go double-click that Dark Rune's core axe. That will put us in the ship this time. Awesome. And then I want you to right click and show info after you do that. Oh, this is a big ship. Holy. Right? You've gone from a frigate to a destroyer. Okay, so what, uh, what right did you click, say? Right click Dark Runes. Where'd it go? Dark Runes Korax. Right click it and show info. Okay. And we're going to go to the first tab. And I'm going to show you what those levels are going to translate into. I was going to wait for it to pop up on my side. Okay. Yeah. So here we have the traits, uh, ship characteristics. For every rank that you train or level of Kaldari Destroyer, you get plus 5% bonus to kinetic, light, and uh, rocket damage. Okay. Light missiles and rocket damage. And you also get a 10% bonus to light missile and rocket explosion velocity, which is part of the equation they use to calculate missile damage bonus, or most uh, missile damage. Uh, now, you've ranked twice. So you are, I think, three times now, right? Did we all do all three levels? I can't remember. We did two or three. So whatever level you did, multiply that by the bonus being shown here. So you're somewhere between 10 and 15 on the first bonus, somewhere between 20 and 30 on the second bonus. Now, a roll bonus is flat. A roll bonus will not increase per level. It's just what the ship does. So the roll bonus of this Korax is a 50% bonus to light missile and rocket max velocity. And again, that's just part of the whole calculation for missiles. Like, the, the normal viewer user is going to be like, missiles, I shoot them, I'm in range, I apply damage. I don't yeah. care anymore. Turn, and then turn the, the more on. skill point, more damage. Exactly. Right. Yeah, more, yeah, more skill points and Okay, and okay, more just making sure, max, like, uh, maybe some so people in, in the chat doesn't understand it, right? So I'm simplifying it for them. Yep, exactly. Um, velocity will help flight time. Um, well, I guess it won't help flight time. Max velocity, the faster your missiles go, the more damage they're going to do. That's yeah, the short they, version of it. Okay, yeah, okay. Wanna, yeah. Uh, uh, go there, ahead and close that info window. There is also a guy in the chat talking about uh, some biology skill. Yeah, so sometimes you'll pop drugs. I don't know how you guys feel about drugs, okay. but EVE Online likes drugs, and drugs are basically <laughs> boosters. They're stat boosters. Uh, you get them on login. Um, okay. They'll give you like bonuses to damage, bonuses to repping uh, for a short amount of time. <laughs> but what you can do is you can train the biology skill, and it'll make your boosters last longer. So more drugs. Yeah, yeah. More, more drugs for more time, basically. Okay, so how do I do that? Um, uh, go back to your skill window. Okay. So right below your portrait. Yeah. I'm still lagging myself. I'm going to refresh the stream. I'll see if it gets yeah. me. Uh, yeah. Search biology. Uh, yeah, search biology in that. Uh, oh, search biology. From there. Yeah. I'm Neural the enhancement. 
Uh, let's see. So, um, we're going to click that. Oh, oh, yeah. Just biology. Oh, oh. Okay. Yep, yep. Bio, yep. Once you're in biology, you're going to right click it. Uh, there's probably a button for us to yeah, buy. Yeah, biology. And okay. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Buy and inject. Buy. Um, there's a red button to the right of all of it. So, like, there's, there's biology. Oh, it's buy and inject. 47, 47K. Yeah. Peasant, peasant money. Yeah, that's fine. Buy and inject. Okay. So I'm injecting cool. drugs. Not yet. We're oh. going to do some drugs soon. We're First, we're going to right click. Okay, okay. I'm just making sure. Like, drugs really are. <laughs> okay, okay. We have to train the skill to use drugs more efficiently first. <laughs> we don't have to, but chat, pet, chat up one and two. You mentioned it, so we'll show you how to do it. So right click okay. biology. Uh, yeah. And apply skill points, and it's probably like 500 points. At 250, yep. That works. So apply that. That was fast. Okay, and then put your mouse cursor back over biology, and a little tooltip will appear. We're going to mm -hmm. read over that real quick. Uh, it says, the booster. science of life and of living organisms and how chemicals affect them. 20% bonus per level to the duration of your boosters, which are, of course, drugs. Mm. Um, so when you pop a booster that says for eight hours or for four hours or for one hour or whatever, uh, it will last 20% longer. Okay. And you get them for logging in. You can buy, you get them for like holiday uh, reward events, like stuff like that. Yeah, so. okay. Um, you can check your login queue and see if I have any in there. It's not that big of a deal, but um, mm. close out the skill window in the bottom right hand corner of your notifications. Look for the next contract that came in. I don't know if it was the same person or a different person, but uh, somebody else sent you something. Oh, I'm going to see if it's anything that's relevant to what we're doing right now. Uh, contracts down there. Eight minutes ago. That is an exotic dancer's mail 100. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, this is just bait. This is not. Irrele I mean, it's, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. You can accept it. There's no scam here. It's safe. Uh, you can put the dancers inside your ship, and then, and then basically you become responsible for the lives of a hundred male exotic dancers. If you want to take on that, um, sure, I'll get I'll get a hundred exotic male dancers on my ship. Why okay. not? Then, yeah, then you're gonna accept it. Very good. Do they do anything for me or? Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Do they do anything for you? That's that's. Personal. I mean, not, not, not for me, thinking. but like, oh. I don't know. They, oh. There's there like an asset for it or something. Like, I don't oh, know. Oh no, no, yeah. There's no, there's no stat bonus or anything. Okay, that's what there's I'm wondering. Like, do they like? Uh, is there oh, like okay. a bonus? Okay, I mean, I'm not here to judge. Go into <laughs> item hanger. Go to your item hanger uh, in your inventory window, and you can you can click and drag your 100 exotic male dancers into your ship. <laughs> And you'll just drop them off in your cargo bay, and they're gonna throw a party in there while you're flying around doing a pistol. Oh, where do I see my? Where do I see? Them? They're in there somewhere. Where'd they go? I don't know. Where did all my Where'd dancers go? Where all? Yeah, go back to that contract if you can. Uh, sure, I'll go. I'll go. They gotta be in there somewhere. How hard it would be to keep up with a hundred? I don't know, man. They it. must be somewhere, huh? Oh, I know why. They're not here. You can close this out. They they send them to you in Gita. You're in Rens. They're in a different location. Oh, They're in a different so castle. my dancers so, are in another place. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll find so, yeah, them Yeah, please later. close that out. You can close the info screen. Um, this one? And then we're going to look at the fitting for your Korax to see if you can make sure everything's online and loaded and okay. ready to go for the, the Abyssal. So ship hanger, Korax, uh, simulate fit? Uh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, it's really big. It's like, this is like one of the biggest ships there is, right? Uh, no. Why is it so... Oh my goodness, I know why. Okay, so what did this guy do? Whoever sent you this ship needs to mail this character the fit they meant for you to use. For oh. some reason. Okay, whoever Warwick... This is my character name in your Twitch chat. They need to mail me the fit so I can send it to you. Um, yeah, okay. I'm trying to think of like how I want to yell at this person. They had very good <laughs> intentions. They they meant to do well, and then they did the dumbest thing possible, which is they didn't fit the ship before they sent it to you. Okay. Like they they their heart wasn't in the right place, but their head was up their ass. So whoever sent you the contract needs to to mail the fit so we can actually fit the ship, because there's no way we're going through Guzu's inventory and and trying to figure it out. And we, and here's our first one, Raziel. Just put all the modules you got on. No, 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 nope. no. We don't want to teach. We don't want to teach Guzu any bad habits like free thoughts or initiative or no. You want to give the streamer the exact tools they need. So they one click use the tool. Oh no, we got Deron now. You should train him how no. to. Deron, <laughs> I have played this game for 15 years. <laughs> I have zero interest in fitting ships. Uh, some people use a tool called uh, Pytha. I use a tool called Frank. 
<laughs> my, my guy's name is Frank. I say, Frank, I need a fit for XYZ. He sends me the fit, and then I go fly it. I don't ever, ever, ever. Guzzi was just talking about this a minute ago. You want to get good at certain things, right? You want to get good at doing abyssals. You want to get good at PvP or whatever. You don't want to be good at everything. So some things have to go. So Wait, just so let go of the idea of fitting what, ships. Like, what, you, they have what, to sponsor what? you three more times to learn how to fit ships. All right? That's how. Okay, good. You, got, you do see, not you like, yell at you do not like, like okay, fitting okay. ships, do you? No, it's horrible. It's, it's okay, so work. What is it? So, is it just like all the gear or what? Uh, it's it's having to understand a lot of systems at the same time. So overall, we're looking at empty an empty ship here, right? Yes, yeah, a so shell. So the bottom ones are your low slots. Those are typically damage mods or tank mods. Then to the right, you have your mid slots. You've got four of them. And that's usually tank or E-War or propulsion. Um... There's a lot of utility things that go in your mids. And okay. then your highs, with which you have like seven or eight on a destroyer, uh, those are usually damage, 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 damage. Like, it's just all the damage. You want to spew all the damage all the time. Oh. And then to the left of that, you've got what are called rig slots. And you usually got two or three of those. Rigs are kind of like uh, enchantments from WoW. You can put the enchantment on, but it's never coming back off, right? Uh, yeah. Or it comes off if you destroy it, basically. So you put a rig in the ship. If you remove the rig, it's destroyed. Where the modules, all other slots on the ship, you can put things in, take it off, it's fine, no big deal. But once you put a rig in the ship, that bad boy is in there for life. And if oh. you take that rig out, it ceases to exist. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So this is how important, this is how hard it is. We've given D-Ron at least two minutes to send the fit. Oh. And I don't have an in-game mail. So well, D-Ron, I, I, I don't know how we're going to get around. Maybe you can look at your contract from before. I, I just got a hundred million contract is... again. Oh. Well, yeah, that's way easier. It's way easier to sit in station and collect money when you're yeah. streaming than it is to... Is that, fit is, is that a lot? Who, who was that? I... We'll see if there's a message. It's from Deco said Ender. They didn't put a note on it, though. They, they didn't put a note on it like Peter did. Yeah, for Ender. It's a Deco in the chat. Buy some implants for skill, he says. Okay, let's do that. Oh, he, he said the... Mi is that easy? No, I mean, is it easy? So... <laughs> Uh, so Anything here's the issue. If, if 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 Deco wanted you to really put some implants in, he would have sent you with the money the the name of the implant he wanted you to use. But because okay. he doesn't really care, right? Uh, then we just take <laughs> no, the money and we think of and we move on to the next person. Like if if they really care if, if Ron really cared, we'd have a fitted Corax right now. If Deco really cared, we'd have names of an implant right now. No, like, they care. They don't they care. care. They just want to like, oh, Guzu said my name. I gave him 100 million isk. I feel good now. It's fine. He says it's attribute fine. ones. It's... See, he doesn't even know the name of them. If he doesn't know the name of them, how are we going to know the names of them? All right? Like, it makes no sense. I don't even know what it is. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, Imagine, okay. like, you know what it's like streaming WoW. And now you know it's like trying to figure out Eve. So imagine when it's like trying to figure out Eve while you're streaming it. Like it's it's two things going on at once, and they're like, oh my god. Yeah. And then you get twitched out wanting to make it more complicated. It's just. <sighs> when the market is you know easy, right? Do you know what's wild? Winter brings up uh, pirate software. Did you know he was pretty prolific within the Eve sphere several years ago? When they first started introducing that Triglavian, um, what did we just do? Called the Abyssals? When they started introducing the Abyssal stuff, they really? um, made a region of space called Pochvin, they being CCP. And Pirate Software's group was all about trying to basically, um, I guess, like run a little racket inside that little area of space and kind of like have a good setup for it. Uh, they eventually got curb stomped by bigger groups, but for a little while they were, they were very, very active in there. I didn't know that. I thought he was just like some rando um, QA guy from Blizzard, but apparently he was guy from from Eve that was doing that kind of stuff. I, I just got send you more money. Yeah, I got 120 million. I, yeah, let's see, there's no message. So Zeiss just wants you to like Zeiss said here's 120 million isk and you just like thanks Zeiss that's really cool of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then you move on. Like, thanks Zeiss. If Zeiss wanted something, he would have sent more information, right? He said you he said no allowed to be even. Oh, he just said okay. Oh, he wanted to mess with your wallet balance. I see. You want to make it 300 million. Oh, it's because it's like not even, I suppose. Yeah, I guess yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, that's fair enough. Wait. Do, you, do people send you gold in WoW? Sometimes. So, is it usually like to seek attention, or is it usually to like, no, like you're trying to, to buy be something? Friendly, like to be friendly, short. they want to like you know help out and like you know make sure I, I, you know I can get some stuff. Like a little right. bit from time sure to time. In Westfall. Huh? They don't want you out in the streets in Westfall. Yeah, right? exactly. They, want they, want me, they don't want me like collecting streets, uh, you know, stuff on the on the street and like dancing on mailboxes and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It takes the time. Time mm. is money. Um. Okay. 
So what do we do? We're just sitting here and collecting money. Wait, what is this? Yeah, we, you, you can get right back in your Kestrel and go do more missiles. This is want to have a conversation. Oh, this, no. is, this might be fine. I am crossing my fingers that this is Ron, who is about to send you the fit for the Corax. Now, it's also possible that it's not Ron, and they're going to send you like an ASCII dick. So you want to put that behind your webcam, and okay. then open the convo, and then see what happens. Okay, accept invitation. Yep, yep. Oh. Who's a Corax? Okay, I think I think it's um. There's Ooh, no dicks here. Good. No, sure. <laughs> okay, we we like that. Okay. That's good. We already so got a hundred da yeah. dancing men. So now slam the fit button. Hit that fit button, and if everyone's done their job, it's gonna pull what we've already bought. Don't buy anything. Don't you do that again? Fit rigs. Right? Yeah. Oh my God, he's doing it. Okay, hit the fit. Okay, did it work? Buy all. This fit includes rigs. Do yeah, that's fine. I think we. Oh oh, buy all. Yep yep. Buy all. This is fine. It just means somebody sent you a different fit. But this person like made more of an effort. Like. Any okay. brain dead fool can send you isk, right? But <laughs> it takes a little bit extra to send you a fit. This is this is good stuff. Did we already <laughs> buy them and fit it? Or did, what, what we got? I, was, I was talking too much shit. And I, I lost track. You're, you're flaming them for giving me stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> told you he was different. You gotta give me things, but give me the right audience. way. No, not the wrong way. Give me the, the proper way. <laughs> oh, should we buy and fit, right? <laughs> Did you already? I have no idea. I well, don't. This These they're giving you more esco. It's fine. It's buying fit. Yeah, I have like three million, three hundred million now. Attempting to fit ship. Yep, that's fine. Okay, okay. I don't know. Um, I think we're good. Okay, so uh, close. Uh, you, you, I would put thank you in that convo uh, uh, personally. Oh. I mean, you don't have to. You can just be an asshole Dude, and be like, "Fuck yeah, you, I'm out." You're the asshole. asshole. But, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you? <laughs> yeah, I would put there. Thank you for being better than and then whoever gave you the the is for the fit in the first place or the contract. I don't, I don't know who gave the contract. No, no, you have to, what? no. Better oh, than whoever gave me the contract. There we go. They, I'm or the you can just say thank you. Oh like, my god! The the oh my! I'm stressing out here. There's too much stuff. I, I have like literally a billion windows open, man. It's like I have. It's fine. Just different start minimizing. Chrome. We're gonna minimize. We're gonna close. We're gonna close. We're gonna close. We're fine. Okay. Well, now. Oh, we got all the so stuff minimize. in it. Yeah, it yeah, was really easy. Why did you say that was so hard? Uh, before we go, we have ammo. We need ammo. Why don't we have? Oh, good. So go to your item hanger, which is right below your ship hanger. <sighs> It'll say ship hanger, then dark, dark, and then item hanger. Yeah, item hanger. We want to put the ammo onto the ship. And There's... I don't know. Maybe maybe no one ever gave us proper ammo. Well, we can yell at them again. It's easy. So God, they didn't give us any. So can we go back to that fit? Can you bring that convo back up to the guy who gave you the fit? We might have to take back the thank you. The thank you Thanks. might be getting rescinded. Did the fit have any ammo in it, or do we need to start screeching? No problem, I'm better than D-Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, click click the fit, go zoo Corax, click that, open it back up again. Okay. I'm better than D-Ron guy, yay. Click the go, 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 go zoo Corax. All right. Yeah, yeah, got it. Huh. Okay, so Shing, Shing was it? You didn't put any ammo in the fit, what's wrong with you? Uh, we need ammo, what are we going to do, take an empty... Corax out uh, into an abyssal site. Can't we just buy ammo in the market? Oh it's not God. a big deal, right? We can just buy it in the market. <sighs> Oh my god. What are you going to buy? Do you, do you know what kind of ammo to buy? Missiles, right? Yeah, search missiles, see what comes up. How many, how many missiles could there possibly be? Uh, what ship did we have again? Hey, look, at those are all missiles. You have no idea what... <laughs> Alright, I like these. I like these. Type in Matt D-Man. Uh, Caldari Navy Scourge Lights. Caldari Navy Scourge. We'll get you there. Caldari Navy Scourge. Okay, yeah, we buy some of these, right? It's under, yeah, yeah, it's under the faction in the storyline. There we go, there we go. Let's buy, like, 5,000 of them. Uh, oh, uh, boy, don't get down the, I don't, don't hit that place by order. What? Don't do it. Oh, oh no, boy, oh, he did it. No, no, okay, okay, it. no, okay, just cancel. canceling it. Just cancel, yeah. Oh, no, okay, this is, <clears throat> okay, we're good. Um, so in the sellers list, go to the second one down. Station? And buy 5,000 of those, please. Yeah, station. Okay, 5,000. We already sorted by price, by the way. That's Jeff. really I, expensive. You're right. Some, it is, but we're spending other people's money. Who cares, right? Oh, true. It is not my money, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yep. There you go. Uh, okay, so now I go with some... Now uh, back to your item hanger, uh, and then move yeah. the missiles to your okay. cargo ship. Oh, uh, doing that. He's going to minimize some stuff and close some uh, stuff. It's fine. Okay. Just working on it real fast. Item hanger. Uh, we got all the missiles going to my Corax. Then we go... Uh, yep. Then that's it, right? Uh, almost. So, okay, go to your fitting window. Or, this works too, your inventory. Just click the missiles over to your ship. Drop them on your ship. Just drop them on top of your ship. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. 
Are they supposed yeah. to look like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, perfect, great, beautiful. Uh, get rid of all unnecessary windows and beat the first mini boss. I grouped them. That's fantastic. Yeah, I grouped them. Good. Okay. Um, so we got a new ship. Mm hmm. Oh my god, why do I have so many things open? Yep. Okay. So now we're ready to do another abyssal, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Undock and go back to Abu okay. and then go to your your spot and then pop the filaments. Wait, do you have filaments in the ship? Get back, un cancel I'm, I'm on board. Yeah, cancel. okay, 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 okay. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I'll link them in our convo. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh, you're going to need at least two of these. So grab two of these things. <sighs> okay, uh, what, what convo? Or Discord or the filament? Uh, the convo in-game. Oh, oh, dark. Okay, so I just buy, right? This one is the cheapest, so I buy this one. How many? Uh, yeah, buy two of them. Yep, yep. Two, okay, buy. Nice, easy clap. Okay. No, no, you're in, you're in the buy orders again. What? He's done it again. He's bow oh, by God. He's just doing things. I bought he's something. It was buttons. it was like cheap. Uh, no, you hit buy order for some reason. Uh, you, maybe you didn't. Maybe I'm just yelling at you for no reason. That's possible. Oh, you bought the right ones. Now put them in your what? ship. Go to your item hanger. Yeah. See how fun it is. You just go, now go to your item hanger. Uh, ship. Yeah. Put oh. them in, yep, put I them literally in all tapped it outside the game, man. This is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I looked out. away to find our convo, and I looked back, and I saw you back at the the order screen again. I panicked. I'm like, oh god, what's he doing again? Why is he so obsessed with this buy order screen? What is it with him and <laughs> buy orders? Like, hey, every time he's near that marketplace, he's planning to be placing buy orders. I, I don't know, man. I listen, if, if I played this by myself, you would I would get scammed. I swear to God. <laughs> oh god. All right, uh, first mini boss, and go to go to a boo, and then go to your spot. Wait, I didn't put it in. I think how do I put it in? I'm looking at it right now. It's in your ship. You're good. Okay, tight. On dock. Oh my god. There's a great prediction open right now. Chat is predicting whether or not you're going to survive. Oh, the rest of the stream. I thought we were going to like predict if you just survive your first destroyer based. Oh. Abyssal, they're greedy. They want you to survive the whole stream apparently. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we go to Abu. Abu. Yep. Yep. Is that? Where's Abu? Abu, Abu, Abu. Abu done. We go... Jump. Mm-hmm. Jump it. Drive and I put my spot, Once right? You... Yep, yep. Well, uh, yeah, after you jump the gate, then you go to your spot. After you jump the gate. Okay, okay, Not okay. okay. Uh, we don't have all the, the male dancers here, but I guess it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, if they really wanted you to have male dancers, what would they have done? Pop quiz. If they really wanted you to have male dancers, what, what, what would they have done, Guzu? Uh, they would have sent it to the proper station. That's right! He's third in place! Yeah. Soon he's gonna be unstoppable. <laughs> Fucking oh, idiots! He's <laughs> gonna send me the right shit! <laughs> alright, don't I, steal uh, my entire stream gimmick, alright? This I game is pretty cool. <laughs> 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 this, send me stuff, but send it the right way. <laughs> okay, so now we go here, and then we, spot. we go yep. to warp too. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Send me yeah, more is, but one, one, one in the right way. So toxic now. <laughs> yeah. we played. Remember when he was a wholesome wild streamer? I remember those days. <laughs> oh, okay, so <laughs> okay, so I gotta open uh, the filament and then I choose off the filament, right? Correct. Okay. Oh gosh, I I'm starting to understand how the travel works again. It's it's coming back to me a little bit. Right. I just want to say to people watching, by the way, I've only played this game for 10 hours total, okay? It, 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 and it, yeah, it's... I'm not new. Uh, I'm new to this game, sorry. Uh, okay, so we do this, we double-click that bad boy. Uh, we can't do that because we need to get three stacked filaments. Oh, you have to change it from frigates to destroyers. Because you're oh, in a destroyer frigates now. to destroyers, okay. So now, okay, now we can do it, okay. Okay, that's it? Yep, yep. Deploying it? Oi, there we go. What What is this, by the way? Uh, it's the same thing you did before, except now it's scaled for destroyers instead of frigates. Oh, but I so mean, like, the now yellow thing. Two Sorry, oh. I just meant the yellow thing. Uh, it's the same thing as it was before. That's the Abyssal Trace. It's the thing you jumped in last time. Oh, okay. It isn't different. It's the same. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, let's go. So, I, I mean, this should be easy then, right? Oh, this is calm. Wait, what? Huh. Okay, so now you're doing a T1 instead of a T0. Is that higher than? Wait, then yeah, why is there yeah, so fine. many? Oh, I mean, you're. We mean so many. There's only two. 
Kill the two ships, and we'll talk about their stuff later. Okay, okay. Oh god, he's targeting everything. No, yeah, that's what I was supposed to do, right? Orbit? Okay, Target orbit. The ships. 10k? Yeah, orbit the ships, not the things. Uh, yeah. Now, oh, now they're putting drones out on you. Get your shield hardeners on. Yeah, yeah shield hardeners. Um, get the things called striking uh, uh, Vila. Striking Vila. There's two of them. Only target them and kill them immediately. Striking Vila. Okay, going there. Okay, approach. Uh, orbit, uh, 10k. Okay, nice. We're there. Okay, missiles are shooting. Okay. Oh, these guys are taking a lot of damage, man. The ship is pretty yeah, insane. That's correct. We're gonna kill. We're gonna kill the big ships, not the drones. That's why I was yelling at him for what to target because we don't want him to get distracted with the drones. This looks cool, man. Now, that when you kill this ship, half those drones will go offline. Oh boy, oh. he's doing the thing again. No, I just wanted to look. He's going Sorry, immersion boys. Yeah, I, I, immersion. Yeah, you're fine. You're not taking any damage. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm popping off, right? <laughs> okay. Dude, this thing does a lot more damage, though. I'm, I'm taking no, no damage at all as well. Wait, so if I do the propulsion propulsion again, I should be good because I'm using missiles, Correct. right? That's what you said last time. Yep. Dude, why is it they so fast? Ah, there we go. Okay. They're missing me completely. That's good. Now, for okay. some reason, your capacitor is going really quick, so maybe you want to turn the afterburner back off, just just for experiment purposes. Okay. We'll see if you take any more damage. It should save your uh, capacitor. What's the info here? Okay, they have a lot of fire you damage. You said you're nuded, but you're not being nuded right now, so there's no nude on Thermal uh, and explosive. Correct, you're doing thermal and explosive, exactly. Okay, I don't know what that means, but that's pretty cool. Zoom out? Okay, I can zoom out. Also, I can see the... Ac oh! Yeah. Yeah. So there's like all the little swarmers, and then uh, I'm shooting this guy right here. Yep. I would go ahead and target the second one now. Why? Oh. Because the first one's about to die. Yeah, true, true, true. That's real. That's what I was about to do. Wait, which way does my ship even turn? I guess it turns anyway. Oh, it's like a sideways ship. You know? Okay, sorry. Uh, I mean, your ship's just on the side right now, I think. Uh, wait, why am I not shooting? You gotta select it. Oh god, oh, you hit. That, no, no, turn those right off. Thing? Turn those off. Wait, no. why? Wait, no. What? What? No. Approach. No. T target. Orbit uh, the guy. And yeah, then I'm shoot doing. Him. I'm doing that. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Sorry. Sorry for yelling at you. You, you almost hit unlock. I got really worried about the unlock. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. no. That's gonna cause all kinds of drama. <laughs> oh gosh. No, so it's kill this guy, right? Yep, kill the striking Vila, and then, then all damage will stop in this room, and you'll burn toward... Uh, now, you'll notice there's like a lot of cans in this room. You only want to care about the Triglavian Bio. The Bio can is the one that you want. All other cans are just distractions. Okay, why? Uh, they put the majority of the loot in Bio, bio Can, uh, but they wanted to have other loot cans in the room, so that if you finish the room super quick, you would be oh. baited into going for the other cans to waste more time, uh, and then have a higher risk of dying. So it's like more loot. You you could get more loot if you're really fast. Exactly. exactly. Can you let? Okay. 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 It makes sense. Like there is more loot in the other cans, but the best loot is in the bio can. Wait, I'm gonna start orbiting or chance. approaching the the cache because then I can like just t uh, kite sure. this guy, right? Yeah. So I'm kind of just kiting this guy as we're like or, you know going there. Yep. Because then it would it would take a lot of time to get there anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. So I don't, I don't loot these guys when I kill them. I only care about the, the cash, right? Uh, so these guys don't actually drop any loot in, in abyssals. Abyssals don't drop loot on the ships, uh, because they want to keep the the run going. Yeah, okay. You, like you'd lose too much time if you had to stop and loot every ship. And yeah, that'd be a nightmare. But I'm just min maxing so like my looting, things. right? Okay, so that guy should yep, die from those yeah, cannons. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So now he's dead. So now I cancel my things. I heal a little bit. And I approach the cache. And once I get like into 20 kilometers, is what you said? I can shoot? Correct. Oh, my capacitor is empty. It is. Who, are, who sent you this fit? Good lord. Oh, yeah. Somebody, somebody, somebody has made assumptions about your skill points or something. I don't know. It's fine. We're alive. Okay. Clear the first room quickly. Oh. I thought I shot it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, got it. And then there's the loot, we open the cargo. And then we loot all. 
And then we go to the gate, approach, and activate gate. Okay, so we did that in... We have 14 minutes and 57... 45 seconds left. So, yeah, you're about one minute ahead of the curve. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're learning, chat. I think I'm learning a little bit. I think abyssals are actually kind of fun, though. They're, they're kind of dank. They're, they're interesting to do, I would say. I have no clue what's going on. I'm trying to figure it out, too, smooth. Okay, so now we got a pacifier. We want to kill those, I guess, right? Oh, boy, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, we want all these things dead. Pacifiers in, okay. in that skybreaker are going to be problems. Skybreaker, okay. What, 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 that, that sounds really bad. Yeah, so the Skybreaker, if I remember correctly, is like an AoE attacker. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, uh, looks like the attackers are all hitting you pretty good. I keep, yeah, I keep that Ripper going. Oh boy, this can be a. Yeah, but I'm losing This might be, uh, Dunzo boys. Why, why is my yeah, capacity? Well, you're empty? using. Because you're using a lot of it. Oh, should I deactivate those then? Uh, I wouldn't do that. No. Oh, okay. No, okay. Those, those, are, those are like your resists, so you want to keep your oh, resists. Oh, okay, okay. Activating those. But it doesn't really matter when they're going to blow you up in one shot anyway, so I think you're just. I, I think, uh, you're in trouble here. I think this I, is. I'm just getting owned. Yeah. I mean, th that's not my oh, fault, boy. right? Uh, no, we're gonna blame whoever sent you the fit, right? True, like, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my fault. You're, you're a test pilot. You're not responsible for bad fits. Yeah. Damn. Um, so that's... Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're going to shoot your pod too. It's good though, it gives you the fast track out of here. And we, we set our home earlier, so now we're going to teleport magically right back to home. We don't have to go to those five jumps again. Oh, that is true, that is true. Yeah, I mean, that's not the best. Uh, good thing we didn't bring those hundred dancing men. Right, they'd all be dead. Now, here's a good scan. This is like the Eve mentality. Okay. Somebody started a, a, a prediction in your channel, and then... Was that before? I think they they sent that started the prediction after they saw the fit on the contract. <laughs> what if somebody had advanced Eve knowledge? Like he's never going to survive with that fit. And now uh, they made a bunch of channel points, and then now you're now you're thinking in the right terms of Eve. So I, is it like every is, 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 is it like uh, mental warfare? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. So everything is like a chess game. Oh, mm -hmm. there, there's one thing I would I would like to ask you to to talk about as well. Like uh, it's corporations. Okay. What is a corporation, and how do I join one? Sure. So corporations are effectively guilds, right? You, you're familiar with those. Mm -hmm. um, in the summer of last year, they launched the Viridian expansion, and it really uh, fleshed out a lot of corporation mechanics so that the CEO of a corporation uh, can set basically quests or goals or projects for their members. So okay. you would log in. Maybe you don't understand or have a lot of knowledge of the big picture what the corporation is working on. But you can yeah. look at those projects and you can start interacting with them like, oh, I know what that is. I can supply that or I can go do this task or I can supply the material or I can go accomplish that objective or whatever. Like <clears throat> they're just going to set things out there for their members to do and, and have those have those being done. So, um, okay. yeah, corporations are effectively guilds uh, for years and years and years. It was mostly just a um, social slash organizational tool. Like there wasn't as much functionality, but this past uh, summer expansion, they they really opened it up and they're about to add i believe this summer so june-ish of this year they're going to make public facing projects and goals so that organizations can also interact with non-members and say hey you know we're guzu inc in eve online we need uh 30 million tritanium for whatever reason uh, -huh. uh we're not going to limit that order to just our own members we're going to outsource it to the general public and now anybody can bring it to us and we'll uh put some isk in the in the uh, payout pool to pay out the nerds based on how much they bring us kind of a thing. Okay. So a lot of them automate uh, objectives being completed, which is mm. kind, of, kind of cool. So so in World of Warcraft, whenever you make like, an, like a, a guild or an, uh, a, uh, sorry, a, a corporation, um, you, you have to like get 10 people. How would you make one or how would you join one in that case? In EVE? Yeah. Okay, so you'll, you'll end up renting an office in a station usually. And then you'll you'll start the corporation from there. Wait, so like uh, you there are like, no. Oh, so it's like an actual job. You get like an office space. Yeah, you don't really go into it or anything. Like you don't get to tour your office or anything like that. It's oh. Like stations have a finite number of office spaces available. Um, 
And so you got to find one kind of operate out of. And then right. from there, you don't need like signatures for your petition to start your guild like you do in WoW. You just you, you can start your your corporation with your own pilot. Yeah. Uh, and then people join from there. Now, for joining a corporation, that's a great question. For years and years, I don't know your age, but you're probably a little bit younger than I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, people used forums. These are archaic uh, communication platforms, and they would kind of network that way and, and find corporations that way out of game on the official forums and then come in game to click the buttons to join. Nowadays, obviously, people find them through discords and Twitch chats and yeah. stuff of that nature. Okay. So there's, there's like no way you can find it in game or what? Uh, yeah, so let's go to upper left-hand corner. The E symbol is your Neocom. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to go, I believe, to Social and then Corporation. Okay. And then, let's see, this character, I, I think, is in a corporation, yeah. so I may or not see everything you have access to. Okay, cool. So here's a bunch of listings. And you would just look and look and look. And if you can find a corporation that sounds appealing to you oh. before your eyes glaze over and you uninstall the game... Then congratulations, you can find a corporation. Annoying uh, to me, monkeys. It sounds miserable, right? <laughs> like this seems like a miserable way of, of doing this, but it is there. It does exist. Okay. But more realistically, you're going to find a corporation through uh, gaming organizations. Oh my god! Uh, yeah. Discords, Twitch chats, things like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. So there's yeah. a bunch of different organizations. That's really cool. One sec. One sec. Oh. Real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just gotta <laughs> Didn't know it worked <laughs> like that. <laughs> so there's a Working bunch of different... Excellent. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna join that one. <laughs> Imagine every guild mail you get starts off with that. You know, like, yeah. that's, that's the intro. <laughs> okay, so does it, do you like apply for them or what? Yeah, exactly. You'd apply. Uh, there's like when you hover over it, there's an apply button, and you hit the apply button. Uh, some of them will require like a little blurb about yourself, or um, okay. maybe the pop up tells you like gives you further instructions, like hey, come to our Discord, or hey, come to our in game channel and ask you know talk to somebody like a recruiter who okay. can answer your questions and stuff like that. Oh, so this is like actually like a cool way of like if you're new to the game to like get into it because it's like Care Bear Central and join Learning Eve Online. I guess they they help them out and stuff like that. That's what they're claiming, yes. They they claim that. Oh. Maybe, maybe they actually do. Like, oh, so the narrative is- we have going on right now is we're doing a, a campaign called Save Mike. I went into a system the other day, and I found a guy all by himself with 11 accounts. Uh, mm-hmm. One was an Orca, which is a large mining support vessel, and he had 10 mining barges, which are, are big mining ships. Okay. And these are in high sec, and he's just in there pounding away at rocks for probably 10 hours on end, and, and then I, I talked to him, like, you know, this seems like a pretty big operation to be doing in high sec. Like, you're not making a lot of money doing this. And he's like, yeah, just doing it for fun. I'm like, okay, that's fair enough. You know, hope you enjoy. Have a great day kind of a thing. I'm moving on. His corporation CEO comes in, screeching in the local chat, going, I order you to stop talking to this guy. He's talking to his own corporation member. He's just freaking out. And so the guy blocks me. He follows orders and blocks me. I can't communicate with him anymore. And so now the guy's account name was Mike. Like that was his, his in-game name. So okay. he had like Mike one, Mike two, Mike three, and so on. And so now the narrative is to find you know other people like Mike and liberate them from hateful. Uh, so they're getting like forced to work. Exactly. So that, that's and how like... do they do that though? They rope them in this way. Now it gets the 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 the, the story gets cults. even more in depth. Where yes, exactly. We got <laughs> there. Yeah, that's where we're going. We're going to cults. So. In this area of space that we found, what other the- people are mining in, in different organizations or no organization yet. And this person will say, hey, come join my group. And maybe you say, no, thank you. He then gets on different characters to come blow you up. And then he'll contact you back on the first character. I'm like, oh, I saw you lost a ship. Are you sure you don't want to join us so you can be protected? And so the, the, first, the person got blown up is like, oh, I don't know any better. He's right. I did just get blown up. I better join him. So I don't get blown up again. So he joins, and now he doesn't get blown up anymore by that group because they got him recruited in. And then they get all his resources, they get all his ore, and uh, you know they pay him like sub sub premium rates and all that kind of stuff. It's it's wow. yeah, it's out there. It's, yeah, Eve is social engineering. So like when you ask like, what's the end game? What's the goal? What's the objective? Like <laughs> I don't know. What kind of cult do you want to run, Guzu? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You just saw a monkey cult. I mean, like... Yeah, like, no, I'm not going to join that one, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Care Bear Central. They seem really nice, so exactly, though. So Care Bears, exactly, right? They sound so unassuming and helpful, and, and they might be. 
I, this thing is like you never know. It could uh -huh. they could be fantastic, or they could be the most evil group you're ever going to find in the game. You won't know, right, until you're until you're in there. That seems. And even funny. if you're in there, you may not know because if you don't know enough about the game to know what's good and bad, then. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that seems that seems like a great time. I mean, that, it's it's mm -hmm. interesting though. It, it it is interesting because the game does seem like to be a lot about like the interactions between people as well. That's the entire value of the game. Like, yeah. so many people get trapped in these sweaty, like, I'm... Well, it's one of the first games that came out where you could play it and use your in-game currency to pay for your game time. And we know that WoW was out of that, you know, later on. Yeah. But, you know, EVE was doing it, you know, a decade before them. Uh -huh. And so, you get a lot of people coming to the game, they come in Twitch chats too, and they'll say, hey, what's the best way to make ISK in this game? Because mm. I don't want to pay for my Omega. And I point out to them, and it sounds cheesy, it sounds hokey, and they don't listen sometimes, but, or frequently... But I tell them you have to find your fun first. Once you figure out what's fun for you, then we can we can talk about how to make it lucrative. Because yeah. if you're doing something in the game just for the sake of making ISK, or if it's wild as is gold, you're going to burn out. You're, mm. you're on the, the express lane to burning out and quitting. Okay. There's no reason why I'm going to give you advice on how to quit the game. That's dumb. Yeah, I mean, at Instead, the end of the day, like, it is about fun, right? Right. If you're not enjoying yourself, why are you doing it? So. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's interesting, though. Um, I do think for today, though, we are getting to, like, at the end of the, the segment here. I do have, like, another session we're going to do at some point. I could, like, if you're down to do it, I could, like, let you get you a little bit of a day advance before if you want to come uh, on the stream again for one more time at some point. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, sure I can definitely give you a little bit more of a, instead of a hectic Discord message. <laughs> Ryan has this panic, everything's on fire message, and I'm like, oh no, what's Guzu up to? And uh, I came over, and yeah, everything's on fire, so it's fine. It's, we got it all worked out. Yeah, I mean, uh, so if you'd also do it one more time, I, we are going to be doing one more stream, or at least I have a, another sponsor segment with Eve uh, another day. Uh, I'll shoot you a message if you're down to come, and cool. we can do some other stuff. We can try to go into some other things than only Abyssal Dungeons as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, who's your contact? Is it is it Bjorn or Swift? Or someone else? You, you what? That's CCP. For the sponsorships, who handles it? Bjorn or Swift or somebody else? Oh, I, I can let you know after here. Okay, you know, that's fine. Well, I was going to say, it didn't really matter who, there's no wrong answer. I was oh. going to say, just make sure to send them a message about how, like, who answered the, the fire alarm. And, oh, yeah, I'll let, like, them, know, I'll the let more, them know that you helped out. I will definitely do The more hearts you put in the message, the cheesier it is, the more <laughs> I'm going to enjoy hearing about it later, and I get to get a nice smug look on my face. Yeah, and, uh, I'll, I'll definitely let them know, though. You you actually did really... <laughs> thank you very much for coming on and, and, and no, joining no. me. I, I, I like doing this, uh -huh. but I, I like I like the, the smugging at them later more. That's that's way more fun to me. Yeah, you, you actually did carry the stream, so I really, really do appreciate that. <laughs> if there's anything you want to shout out real fast or anything before I... Uh, a call here. Oh, uh, sure. Feel free to. Uh, so, if any of you are interested in Eve, I start. So, Guzu, you started eight hours ago. Uh, that is like 8 a.m. So, before Guzu goes live, I am on air yapping about Eve, pop in for a little bit, ask some questions about Eve online, and then pop back over here and check out what Guzu's doing that day. But that's Monday through Friday. Uh, I'll be on this all, all this upcoming week, as far as I know. And, uh, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys have fun, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah, thank you so much for, for tuning in today and being a part of the broadcast. I do appreciate that. So check out Rushlock, guys. He streams Eve and uh, really, really cool guy. And thank you for coming on a very, very last minute notice here. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> yeah, I'll shoot you a message for the next uh, session. I don't know when it'll be yet, but uh, I'll let you know. Cool. Have a good one. You too, man. Later. Later. Okay, what a cool guy. Dude, guys, he literally... I, I I logged into Eve today. We we had like this uh, this uh, se segment of playing some Eve online today. I didn't message him before this. I didn't know what the hell to do, and he literally just showed up and he hung out with us for three hours. What an absolute champ! I that that's so awesome. Shout out to Rushluck guys. Uh, I would be very very lost without him. So that's awesome. Make, make sure to check out Eve online as well, guys. Again, we were sponsored today to play it. If you're interested in trying it out, you. Um, you can check it out using my link, and you get a one million skill points uh, for free. So check, by using my link as well, um, he only insulted like three viewers, myself included, but <laughs> but like the guy, Rushlog is amazing. We played with him previously as well. Uh, contracts, yeah, contracts. Yes, exactly. Uh, apologies, apologies. Um, regardless, though, we are having another Eve Online. Um, Playthrough at a not playthrough uh, session at another time. Uh, I'll if you guys like Rushlock, which I assume you guys do because he's really chill, 
Uh, I'm gonna ask him to come join me, and we could try to like explore some another avenues of uh, of Eve Online as well. I think it'd be really fun to do, you know, to doing some more um, more Eve Online, and maybe doing something different than, than Abyssal Dungeons as well. Maybe explore some uh, wormholes or something like that. We'll figure it out. And yeah, what's planned for tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, we're gonna be doing some WoW gaming. We're probably gonna be doing some more Plunderstorm practice with Annie. I want to continue doing that. And then we'll see what we do. Maybe we're gonna play that new Chilas art game. I'm not sure. Maybe something else. I have no idea. But definitely some World of Warcraft and some Plunderstorm, and then we'll figure out what we do apart from that. Um, Plunderstorm is so comfy. Plunderstorm is actually really chill, and we do need to practice for the game. I there's a video about Eve I want to watch before we leave, though. Uh, and it's called "This Is Eve." Just as a final thing here, uh, this is not this is not for the sponsored event. That's just people told me to watch it, so it looked pretty interesting. Uh, okay. Let's check this video out. Uh, I just got recommended to watch this, so we'll, we'll just watch this before. Uh, this is Eve, uncensored. Okay. It looks so pretty, man. Contrained st strong language. Oh, okay. Okay, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna sit 10k oh. on the target, we're gonna lap it really quick, and then we're gonna warp to the run spot. Does that make sense? Yep, yep. Okay. Stand by. Wait, this is kind of dope. So, hey guys, here's the deal. They got their prophecy fleet up, and then Razor also has an Oracle fleet. So, we should have some interesting stuff about to happen. So, it's going to be like this we're going to portal through, and at the same time, the triage carriers are going to jump just the triage carriers at first. Everyone clear? It's Let kind of see. dope, though. Oh, crap. I think. Will we able to take on Guardians? Yeah, they got four Guardians. I don't think we should do this. I don't think we can do this. Don't worry about stuff. that. Now we're gonna fucking play some fun games. Wow, it's racing. Relax. All wings align. Primary is the Dominix in five, four, three, two. It, it must be epic, though. Torpedoes on the Dominix, Dominix, Dominix. Orbit on me, Michael Warp Tribe's on. We're moving. Secondary is Vipers in the Omen. He's in structure. Take him down. Dude, that revelation out now. All mutes on the rev. Turn out towards that guy. Just now. All dams on the damnation. All dams on the damnation. Scepter, stay here and tackle prophecies. This is where we fight. All right. Roger, Roger. So <laughs> I'm carrying a hundred times more than my ship is worth. Ooh. There were some pirates chasing me. Um, this one guy chased me through like five different systems. I need to get the fuck out of the system. This little rock right here is worth about 166 million isk. For some people, this might not be a big deal, but for me, it's huge. Okay. Seller 4.2, pretty nice. Gonna produce four of them. Two days, 19 hours, 11 minutes, 44 seconds. We can expect to make eight to 10 million around there. What the fuck is that? Taking one out of 56 grit. Okay, it's good. Like stocks. Got five modules to fit in here. The ship speed is actually pretty good. It can hit 4K a second. We're gonna hurt that now by adding on some armor buffer. Okay. Up, success. Yeah. Thanks, dudes. Yay, so it's so much fun. Oh yeah, such fun. It's almost done now, like uh, less than a week. Oh look! Okay, Whoa. Oh, Whoa. oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Wow! Wow! Uh, that is Rexy King. Oh yeah. Man. I'll give you the signals now. I'll give you the signals now. Go go go! Signals down. Portal portal. Primary. Gate is green. Gate is green. Sniper skills to one red. So you guys BSC. Hyper got idle. Nine green. Come on. Oh shit! How do I work this thing? Ewar Jones. All Ewar Jones on Scott. Where are you decloaking? A really good trailer. This was made by the way nine years ago, guys, from Eve Online. What a cool trailer. Was that a Titan in the end? Or what? Like the big ship? There's no way is that a Titan? There's no way that's a, like a ship you can have. Oh, 
Holy! So you, you can you can you can have that one. That is crazy. Damn, the ultimate ship. What a cool trailer, man. Damn, it's called Erebus. Okay. Even now in 2023, this is still the best Evo promo video ever. Yeah, this actually made me kind of hyped about it. <laughs> it. It did. I, I think it's all about, like, the, uh, I, I guess, like, the camaraderie you make around the way and, like, all the people you talk to and stuff like that. Like, going into space missions and shit with people. That's dope. Chat, as I said, uh, we are sponsored today by EVE Online. Um... Huge shout out to Eve. Uh, obviously, you can use my link to check it out if you are interested. We are going to be having another uh, session with some Eve Online at another date. I'm not really sure which day quite yet. I will let you guys know. Uh, but I think we're going to have uh, Rushlog on again and help us with it because he he was amazing. So uh, really, really cool. Thank you so much for sharing my favorite game today. It was really fun. I will say extremely overwhelming. So, so thank the Lord Rushlog was here to, uh, to help me out with figuring it out. Uh, but yeah, shout out to you guys in the chat as well. I hope you guys have a great evening. I will be back tomorrow for some Plunderstorm and some WoW gaming and some fun stuff. I will see you guys then. I'm not sure if there's like someone in the in the um, EVE Online section we can uh, we can f send you guys over to here. We did that last time when we played and uh, they seem to be very, very appreciative of that. Um, I'm not sure if there is anyone here, but we'll have to see. You're going offline? Yeah, I'm heading offline uh, for, for now. Uh, I'll obviously be back tomorrow, but... Uh, beep, 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 boop, boop. Thanks to me, Eve. Uh, thank you for hanging out, man. I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Uh, enjoy dinner. Thank you. Action. Nah. I'll take you guys over to Nomsen today. I, I, I like Nomsen a lot. Hi. Nomsen is a good friend of mine, chat. Uh, say hello to Nomsen. Have a great evening. Thanks for being a chat. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Star, come to me 